10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from the Howard Hospitality Group. Welcome to another weekly vending live. Joining me tonight, as always, is Matt from Galaxy Games 843. Hello, everyone. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Everybody What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? And then Mr. Incognito, who we don't know anymore because he's so busy with his new fancy arcade guy, David from Extreme Vending. How are you, Hi. sir? Good. I just got charcoal on my hand from my, <laughs> my match I lit earlier. That's <laughs> My pretend cigarette that he was pretending to light a cigarette and, and and it was like a sucker in his hand and and he goes I light my cigarette and he was trying to be <laughs> yeah funny. I got I got all this like it's it's not it's a little messy um, how are you doing oh good yeah <laughs> how's the business that's what we want to how is yeah, your business so going before we even oh, started yeah. fill us in man I haven't talked to you in like five or six days it's been nuts. yeah we saw we saw some pictures on the Discord but we want to know like how it's going yeah well so like. Uh, like uh it's still a little bit slow i mean no one knows i haven't it's a soft launch but the main thing is it's automatic and i don't have to be there and so i and i get paid every day from the uh credit card charges they're always coming in around noon for the previous day so that's pretty cool nice. um so far i'm just under two thousand dollars of earnings in about what uh, today's day four day four middle of day four so, so hopefully you're that that's already paying your uh, your lease or whatever whatever the costs are. I'm yeah, not sure what, what your costs are, but yeah, hopefully that's, that covers it's, that. It's up there. It's up there. So um, we're just under two thousand dollars, and then it's only day four, and the weekends where I'm really looking forward to. Um, and then I got some uh, stuff coming in that I can go out and decorate now. <laughs> so nice. We'll have it. So you're doing so everybody knows you're doing like a Vegas. soft launch, and then you're going to Vegas because. That's coming up next week. Yes. And so yes. then when you get back, it's on. Grand opening, the whole deal, big big time yeah. show, right? Yeah. Right. That's, cool. that's, that's the plan. It's actually April 1st is our set launch day out of all the days. It's nice. going to be April 1st, so which is a Monday. Be, but it could open on April 1st or it could not open on April 1st. Right. <laughs> right, right. I figured that would be a good, like, April Fool's, you know, yeah. we didn't really do it. They no. go there and nobody's there. That's, right, right. It's great for business. So. That should do really well, I think. <laughs> so, Matt, how was your week, man? Man, it's been a whirlwind of a week. I'm, I'm having excellent sales at my locations. I was watching my NIACs today, and my God, you yeah. know, the, weather's, the weather's warming up here. We had, like... One of our best sales days ever today on, on a Wednesday of all things. So yeah. super excited about that. Um, we're, we're probably going to have to start going to our top secret location on a weekly basis rather than a biweekly basis because things are just Ooh. moving so fast there. Um, it's just nuts. And then, you know, I talked about my ice cream shop is moving and that's going to be a better location coming up. So there's just a lot of things happening. We filmed our uh, flea market mini arcade video this past weekend. You should see it come being released this coming weekend. And then, of course, prepping for Vegas. I mean, there's so many yeah. things going on. It's just a whirlwind of a week. And then, of course, we, we had a huge interview. announcement yeah, this so week. Yeah, we an interview we did together. And an which, interview yeah. last, yeah. We, we actually did the interview yesterday, but it released today. Yeah. So, I mean, w yeah, what, what a week. week. What a week it's been. So, David, we were just talking before we came on. We didn't have much time. We all kind of hopped in late. But, uh, David, you haven't even heard the news, so um, you know, we wanted to fill you in. You were like, what are you talking about? I'm like, we'll, we'll talk about it. But Candy yeah. Machines, for all of you who don't know, um, has been bought by a new owner, Andy Denton. And if you guys are interested in meeting him, we did a really, I think it turned out to be a really good interview with him. Awesome. It was a, a great night. time. Yeah. And, um, and he's just a great guy. Super cool. Uh, plans on, you know, not, not, not a lot of changes, just basically keeping things the same with a little improvements and trying and just, yeah, keeping everything the same, but trying to make some things better, which, yeah. you know, you can't go wrong with better. And right? everybody loves candy machines how it is. So yes. um, the customer service and everything they do. So I think that that's just, I mean, it's a win-win all the way around. Um, he's super interested in everything that's going on with it and how it all works. And so very cool. And it, it's neat because he has an outside perspective, which is which is awesome. So, um, yeah, very cool. So we'll talk about that tonight, too. Totally. Uh, our week, now, I don't know. Uh, David, how are your route, how's your route doing with numbers? Are you up, too? Yeah, no, my route's going up. What uh, What's really scary is I'm actually getting really low on toys. <laughs> 
<laughs> but well, uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have people coming in and stuff like that. So hopefully we can survive. I got to survive 10 more days before my next. So uh, here's what you do. You're going to Vegas. There's going to be distributors there with show specials. Right. So play some orders. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'm hoping to take home stuff with me too. Uh, I'm bringing okay, my truck. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually driving up there because it's my turn to drive because I'm only five hours away, five and a half hours away from Vegas. So I'm hoping to get some of that on floor specials if they have any. Um, if not, I'll just order some and, and have it to my tour. Well, our, I, that's what I wanted to ask you about your route because, like, our our numbers are up a lot. So I don't know what's going on, but our, we've tripled our numbers. Cause Is we, it spring we break did, yet for you? No, no, that's that's um, that's not till when is that April the second first or second week of April I think so you're going to have even bigger boom yeah in, so in, I don't know April. you know usually it doesn't quite hit till about spring break then we start shooting up um, but we placed a bunch of new machines and then we thought that it was going to be slow for a while for those machines and they just took off and that always does when you place a new location but our normal route is up like double what that normal well, actually triple what it normally is right now Good. and. So we're we're excited. We're doing really well, and like you, we have the problem where our, our garage is a little shy on the toy department. So we're <laughs> we're, um, we're I'm low we're, also. Yeah. Oh my god, it's bad. I'm, and I'm hoping and, to score some show deals. That's for sure. Well, we All have right. an order on the way, and then we ordered some stuff in the states, which is coming. And um, so we will. I think we'll be okay, but a lot of it shows up next week. So that's kind of going to be weird because um, we're all going to be gone. But we'll figure that out. But yeah, so it's. So I, hopefully everybody out there, I hope your numbers are up too. I hope you guys are doing totally. really well, um, yeah. you know, and that everybody's kind of got the same trend going on because I think that, you know, it's the popularity of the machines is just awesome. And then putting the right toys in and stuff has been doing really well for us. So, um, but yeah. yeah. So very cool. So I, let me get over. I haven't even gone over to the comments yet. Yeah, there's a ton of here. comments in there. Guys, while he's pulling those comments up, make sure you smash that like button. Help other people find the stream. And thank you all for saying hello. Uh, thank you guys for coming back week after week. This is our last show before the Vegas trip. So we're super excited. It's going to be a, a fun night tonight, guys. And our giveaway Thanks for being next here. week, which we're going to talk yes. about. Um, and then I need your guys' help tonight. Everybody, let's see. We got about 40 people in here, it looks like, already. Um, I need everybody's help tonight. I've got 45 tickets left for the MBVA um, scholarship drawing. And we could talk about that, but I got them in my hands and I need to, we, we need to get rid of them tonight. So if everybody just buys five, we'll be set. I think. Or if good. everyone, if every person just buys one, I mean, that would, that's that's true. Yeah. That that would work on grand prize, $2,000 and other great prize. Yeah. So it's, a, you yeah. know, 2024, 2000, 20, 2024 prize, <laughs> uh, plus all the other stuff that people put in the auction. And you do not um, have to be there, right? The win no, the prize. Or, no. Geez. And what's really cool. What I've been doing is I got, so these are. What I got behind me is um, these are all the people that have bought tickets so far. So what I did is I printed out all their information. And uh, Natalie and I tonight, we're going to put everybody's name. And because and, I need your name, phone number, and email for the ticket. And then when I get there, since I'll have your phone number, I will call you guys. And um, hopefully you guys have iPhones. I don't know if you will or not, but we could FaceTime. I could show you what's on the table. Or I can just list it off for you, and you can tell me where to put your tickets. And I'll in the comments, your first order, Elite Claw Amusement says he'll take 10. Oh, oh there you go. Boom. There you go. Thank you. There so we all, go. All you have to do is just go in and um, Howard Hospitality Group at gmail.com. Um, send a Venmo to us as a friend. So if, send us a friend request and um, send it to us so that it doesn't take a fee out. And um, Venmo us the money, and I will um, print it out and put your, I need your name, phone number, and email. And so 10, so we're down to 35 guys. So I only and have 35. Drex is, at, Drex is in the comments asking for info too. Okay. The, well, the, it, the tickets it, are $5 a piece for everyone yep. out there that's asking how much. And so, so this, this money goes to a good cause too. So it's not, yeah. it, this money doesn't go to anyone but the, the charity. Yeah. The so it goes to MBBA for the raffle, uh, <laughs> right. which is a scholarship raffle. So at the end of the year, they give a scholarship to one kid. Um, uh, that's going to go into vending and do that for for the MBVA raffle. So this is really cool. Um, and if you're coming, then you know I'll have your tickets ready. You could drop them in your own bucket. Um, but if not, I will drop the tickets for you. But I have 35 left, so we'll bring it up again, um, and hopefully we'll get rid of them. And by the time that um, we finish tonight, so thanks, guys. 
thanks, Silly Communist Man. I appreciate it. Um, oh, he already paid me. So there you go. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's bad. He's got on my phone. So nice. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And I just need your name, email, and phone number. There we you, go. I can't tell if you put it in there or not, but yeah. I will need that. And Drex, Drex is asking, should we just email Jonathan? Yeah, if you, if you email Jonathan, but you can also send him the Venmo to his email as well. The tickets yeah. are $5 a piece, so however many you want, but make sure you let him know your name, your phone number, and your email address so that way he can contact you with, you know, where you want to drop the tickets. Because because basically, that's how it works. It's There's obviously, there, there's a, a drawing for, for cash, a cash prize, but there's also prizes that you can put the tickets in for Kind yeah. of like, you know, one of those where, where there's multiple prizes and then you put your tickets in the in the jar or whatever it is to collect the tickets and they draw one winner for each prize is how that works. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then, yeah. um, and if you don't have Venmo, don't worry about it. You can go to the uh, yaokids.org website um, and you can go on there and donate the money to the Yao, Yao Kids and then put your information in there. And I can pull it out of there too if you don't have, because you can do that right on the website. Mm -hmm. So either way, if you don't have Venmo, then do that. Or um, and Give Butter doesn't take is what the, we use to get the donations. Doesn't take any money out, so that's awesome. Or you can Venmo us either way. But very cool. Oh, we got some super chats too. So and let's, Vending let's... Unlimited says he'll take three. So there we go. Oh. There's three more down. Very good. Okay, Lay so out. David, me... David, you're keeping track because you're better at math. So we're down well, 13, I, I, and we had 45. I didn't even know how many, okay, I didn't even. Oh, so 45, 13. That's 32. 32. Okay. Yeah, 32. We got 32. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wasn't keeping track. <laughs> I didn't know how many you sold. Yeah, yeah. I, need to, I mean, I can get more when I get there. It's not a big deal, and I'll, I'll drop yeah. them in the bucket. So I, I don't worry if we. I mean, if we go over, I'm more than happy to go over. I love the cause. And it's just a great, it's, it's awesome. So very cool. So let's do a couple. It looks like I got a couple super chats or I got one so far. It looks like one super chat. All right. First super chat of the night from Waco's car wash channel. Elevators and more kicking it off, off for us saying, what's y'all's highest score in bowling? <laughs> Mine is 170. You know, I'm not so, sure what my high score is, but I will say that I beat Jonathan while we were in Florida. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> we had a blast. Remember, we were we were playing. We were, it was oh, a really the, the, cool the game, place. Yeah. yeah, and then the those people were coming into town as we were leaving. They were coming into town, and they were for a tattoo. Um, a tattoo conference. convention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so they were in the lane next to us, and they're all tatted up, and and like they were like the coolest people. And they we were, were very cool. Yeah. Yeah, and we were having a good time, and so um, but I, little known fact, my dad used to be like really good. Um, at bowling and so when I was a kid I was always down at the bowling alley with my dad here locally uh, and I used to have my own golf or my own bowling ball with my name on it and the whole deal so I used to play a lot of bowling but not so much anymore so anyways I used to um, bowl a lot as a kid my highest Jonathan what's your, Jonathan what's your plus. email one more time let everyone know your email because they're, they're oh. I guess Tinkers wants some wants 12 tickets Ooh, okay David keep track well, we're so down 20 to, left. We're, that means we're down to 20. Yes. 20. Exactly. Okay. So, I don't remember um, how many we were at. Our email's really easy. It's just Howard Hospitality Group at gmail.com. So, all there one word, Howard Hospitality Group at gmail.com. Uh, you'll find us on Venmo. Uh, and you can just, just, you know, send us a friend request or whatever it makes you do to send it as a friend. Otherwise, it charges like a percentage of whatever it takes out of there. And we don't want to do can that. Can you repeat so. that one more time? I'm signing up for Viagra. Hey, Howard <laughs> Hospitality Group. At just kidding. I'm just joking. I wouldn't do that, John. <laughs> Thank God I'm not there yet. It's not too Watch. far around the corner. It's I'm a spam old. stuff. I'm just trying to get you spam mail. And I'm going to sign you for every presidential can uh, election thing. Like, nice. Right. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're going to get so Free much. depends, <laughs> samples, all that good stuff. I was actually watching some of Tinker Toys and Hobbies videos today. So they did a lot of shorts. Uh, yeah. Very good shorts on 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 tips and tricks and vending and um, you know how to collect safely when you're out um, on your route and some other ones I was watching today um, while I was doing some Pokemon card stuffing and so I, I and I didn't I got watched yours um, with your the um, what's the name of that place that's it's like a tire shop or something right yeah. or what it was yeah yeah and yeah. Um, I was watching your collection. I watched that today too and you talked about thank the giveaway you. and yes. and tonight's live stream and thank you i appreciate that that was really cool so um <laughs> wow super yeah. chats are coming in and andy the new owner of candymachines.com is here in the comments tonight andy are oh, you cool. in the All air right. right now because andy is on his way yeah, to go to, to candymachines.com headquarters uh if you're watching us from thirty-seven thousand feet that would be really cool if that's the that case that would be cool he does you have a super chat really coming in here too so let, let's well, uh let's address travel, these super chats man. real quick okay yeah. 
All right, first super chat is Neon Starship. The five dollar super chat says, "Hey guys, been a while since I've been in the chat. Wife and I have been working on a new business here in the Boston area. Hope all is well. Well, good luck with that new business. Thanks for the Boston. super chat. Yeah, thank how you. cool. It's, it's got there around go. Boston. Yeah, very cool, man. <laughs> no, good to see you, Neon. Yes. It has been a while. Is that your been... accent there, Jonathan? For that Boston? was horrible. So I won't the do it Boston, again. I the Boston, <laughs> Boston. Yeah. So. <laughs> The West Coast attempt at the Boston accent. I love it. Uh, so, right. yeah, and then let's see. And then one more super chat from the new owner of CandyMachines.com, Mr. Andy Denton himself with a four ninety nine super chat. Oh, Thank you for the super man. chat. It says Matt. Nice little thumbnail. So yeah. I if you guys watched our interview, this topic came up. Um, he says, tell everyone your Donkey Kong high score. It's like 390,000 something. Oh, that's it's, all. It's, it's it's not you know you know I'm I'm trying to get well I'm not I'm not being competitive but I've been practicing lately I haven't because I haven't had time but you know those guys in that movie King of Kong they you know they score over a million points yeah and they're, just, they're just really super good and I will but probably never be that good. It's still ridiculous, man. It's, like, that's it's a... very good for me. Yes. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take hey, it. Question, Thank you, Andy, man. for the super chat. Glad you're here. I do see he is on the plane right now, so that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. He's watching us from thirty-seven thousand feet in the air, probably right now, on oh his way gosh. to go meet up with Kevin. In the Salt Lake City CandyMachines.com office. How cool is Very that? Cool. I, I need to see this video. I feel so far behind. I feel like, you know, when you when you just like woke up. At, uh, well, you, I've never <laughs> you, been in a coma. You before. woke up from a coma? <laughs> yeah. Woke up from a coma. I feel like I, I miss so much. Like just, I feel like I'm out of the loop of everything. Well, we, we're getting ready for Vegas. We're going to be doing the drawing, which we could probably talk about our first time right now. Um, sure. We're, we're gonna get. We're gonna do the drawing. I was talking to Andy on the phone um, just before we did the interview last night because um, he had some questions about what we might talk about, and um, I was telling him that you know the plan is is like we want to be in the booth. We want everybody from the Discord to come down there uh, and just have this huge crowd of people just, you know, just like, you know, like a big drum roll and like the whole deal. So we're really excited. And for those of you who don't know about the giveaway, you've got, uh, when are we cutting it off, David? Like, when do you want to, because we got to get the list together and all that stuff. When do you want Yeah, we need the list. I, I, it, well, if I can push it to the day of, I mean, okay. wor perfect world would be like hours within, but like, uh, I want to do like noon on Wednesday. Yeah, let's just set for noon. Let's get. Let's okay. tell everyone noon by Wednesday. That way, I can go through the list, uh, like we did last year. I went to the hotel room again and went back on the computer and just kind of updated things right before we live stream, and, and then we uh, we pulled the names. Yeah, I think that'd be reasonable. I just can't forget my uh, <laughs> laptop or anything. That'd be bad. Liam, um, Ke Kevin, and Harris sold candy machines to to Andy Denton. So if you watch, if you watch our um, interview that we did last night, which, which we released on our channel this morning with Matt, uh, the three of us did an interview last night. So um, Candy Machines is officially sold to Andy now, um, but Kevin is gonna be around for a little bit and making sure that the transition and everything goes well. But as far as Candy Machines is concerned, um, not a lot's gonna change. It's, it's just gonna get better. So um, nobody stress out, nobody get, get you know, worried or sell, anything. Sell, sell. Get, so. Yeah. Um, oh, what about Andy, like, uh... oh, Andy's buying the tickets, man. Oh, so, you know man. What? You know what? <laughs> I say, I say, if you guys want tickets, I will. When I get there, I'll, I will get more because they told me they asked me if they wanted me to send some more for tonight. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I still got 45 and I don't know if I could sell them or not. I mean, so, we're not uh, even 20 minutes into the stream and they're, and they're so, all gone at this point. So they're not gone. So if you want more tickets, I will. Um, I will definitely, you know, get tickets and fill them out and stuff when I get there for you guys, because um, this is a great cause and it, it's totally. it's really important. So um, we can sell another hundred if you guys want. I mean, <laughs> they don't end. And please support it and please buy tickets. I would love that. Thank and, you, Andy. We we yeah, really appreciate you, that. Andy. Thank you, Andy. So, so um, cool. but yeah, no, that's amazing. And all you need to do, Andy, just so you know, just um, our email is Howard Hospitality Group at gmail.com. Put your name, email, and phone number in there, which I kind of know what they are, but put them in there anyway for me. And um, just to keep all I, the records right. Yeah, yes, just to exactly. keep everything together so I don't get lost because I'm not the smartest. And um, anybody else who wants tickets, please buy some. Just Venmo me, and I will get them all together for you and um, put it together when I get there. So totally, very totally. cool. Thank you, Andy, and thank you, um, Tinker Toys and Hobbies, and thank you, um, Elite Claw Amusements. Right, that was the third one. 
right? Yes. Yes. So thank you guys so much for that. And let's keep going. We're not going to stop. So very cool. John, that's awesome. Another super chat. We, we're making them roll tonight from Waco's Car Wash Channel Elevators and More wants to know what is the biggest airport in your area? His is DFW. Mine CHS or Charleston International Airport for South Carolina. <laughs> David, you're gonna be Sky Harbor, right? Yes. Yeah, you're correct. PHS. So we've got two. We've got Sacramento, that's an hour from us, and then we got San Francisco, which is about two hours from us. So SFO. Yeah. So we got two of them. Um, we usually take Sacramento for most things, um, but you can't get some pretty good, like cheap Alaska flights and stuff out of San Francisco. That sometimes is worth the extra hour drive. So. I've um, been to every airport listed here except for Sacramento. So I guess I'll have to get that one on my list sometime. Yeah, very cool. So, okay. So let's talk about the giveaway. Let's uh, talk about the giveaway. To those of you just joining us, um, big news yes, uh, yesterday. Press oh, well, release. Before we do that, let, oh. let's do this. Um, Andy okay. says, anyone that's in Vegas, find him in Vegas, say hi, tell him that you saw him on the live stream, and he'll give you one of the tickets. How Ooh, cool, cool is that? So, so cool. Yeah. So he's cool. got hit 20 that he's bought that he'll give to you to put in the bucket and see if you can win something. So I won't put um, his name on those then. I will hold there on to go. them as blank. There we go. And uh, actually probably give them to you when I see you, Andy. And then you can hand them out to people, which is very there cool. We go. The drawing is not till Thursday around 4 o'clock. So right. um, you guys got plenty of time to find him and steal a ticket from him. So very cool. <laughs> And then also, quick play in the chat. Look at that saying, Vegas, baby, let's go. Man, this is a good night. This is a good night already. I told you guys it was going to be a good night. I can't wait to see you guys again. Oh, my goodness. Talk about people being busy. Those guys, like, I, I, I never get to talk to those guys anymore. I mean, they're so slammed. So it's very exciting trying to get those guys on the board. Um, they haven't given me in the word yet, but we're trying to get you, David, um, and quick play on the board, at least one of them, uh, either Eli or Cody on the board. We're trying to get Jen Venn as president this year. Uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening at MVVA, and I think a lot of good changes, a lot of excitement. Um, so yeah, very cool. Oh, he says, well, he says they're, fi they're finishing up work at the arcade. They're going to join the live tonight. That's what we like to see. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yes. I, um, John, one thing I want to point out is you know, you're obviously a board member, but look, Look how much value you've added to MVBA by promoting it all year long, and and not here just you're me, selling you the guys too. It's not well, just me. Yeah, I mean, you know, but like, but like, you know, this shows you how important the go and monitor the technology and have a spokesperson, someone to, to you know, like, like all the community is just so great. We you sold out in tickets again, and you you the event hasn't even started. You know, they're going to continue to sell more at the event. But like, man, that's amazing that we were able to get that head start with you. you know, a good cause and all yeah well i think that all of us promoting it the excitement around mbva and you know it's we were talking about that i think just before we came on or or during the or during our interview i can't remember which but it's kind of funny how like through the year you know it's kind of quiet and then all of a sudden about two months before mbva happens like this is this huge buzz and excitement Things just start stuff. blowing up yeah, yeah it's really cool so um it's very very cool um all you need to so tinker toys and Tob hobby all um to become on the board for MBVA, it's really simple. Uh, you just want to contact either me or somebody that's on the board. So like um, Jen Vend, um, I can get you in contact with her. I don't know if the ballots like stuff is closed yet. I have to ask her. Uh, but basically, you just request to be on a ballot. And then um, go, a lot of people will go around and they have their business cards and they just talk to people and say, hey, I'm running for the board. Please vote for me. Uh, you know, why they're at the at the actual conference um, or they talk about on their channel or whatever you want to do. Uh, but that's how you do it. It's that simple. It's just getting people to vote for you to be on the board and um, and just becoming part of the MBVA. Uh, if it's I don't know if it's too late or not. I'll have to find out for you. I will look into it. Um, it may not be too late. You can try this year or, you know, get see, check out MBVA this year. And then next year, you'll know exactly what to expect and be ready to be on the board. Uh, and they also are looking for people to handle certain positions. So they do things like social media, um, you know, people to handle the seminars. And so there's different things that they do throughout the year. So there's a lot of positions that are available for that kind of stuff too. So very cool. Totally. Um, All right. We should probably talk about the giveaway. Yes. Okay. 
Let's do that. You kept interrupting me. I was trying. I know. Well, yeah. well, well, there were so many great comments and so many great people <laughs> commenting no, that we certainly wanted to acknowledge. Well, so. and then I want to cover MBBA too because they extended the early bird um, special of signing up till Friday, right? Because when's the 15th? Is that Friday? That's Friday, yes. Yeah. So um, they have, they've extended it to that. So I wanted to, if you would, I didn't ask you before we started because we didn't have a lot of time. But if one of you could pull, actually, Matt would probably be better at it, is pull up on your computer to share your screen, the MBVA website, and then show people yeah. how to sign up. So yeah, we'll get to that in a minute, but yeah. just ahead of time, I don't want to drop it on you in the middle, but that'll give you a little bit of time. But let's go ahead and talk about um, the giveaway. So let me pull that up here. May I go there first? Go. Yeah, you can go first. Absolutely. I'm, you I'm really, first? I think I'm really laggy, so I just want to make sure I get my two cents in. Sure, of course, of course. <laughs> you guys are like way behind, or I'm way behind. You guys are talking, and then... Oh, Jonathan froze. Missed here. He did freeze. What's he doing? Oh, maybe he, it's, maybe it's not me. No, well, he just got new internet too. So, I mean, it must I, it must be cold in California because he literally just froze like that. Here, I'll do that. I'm going to send a picture <laughs> here on this. He, he just so maybe it's he not. Just, he just dropped. All right. Maybe. Well, for the it time being, be, you know, yeah. you know, obviously David and I don't have the controls of the streams. So we can't take his uh, little. Uh, so, oh, there he is. Welcome back. Okay, so I don't know what happened with the internet. That was crazy. So okay. We were just oh. talking about how your, your, your fancy new internet and yeah, then you just dropped off like that. What's it was funny because I go, okay, let's ball. And then I said, what the heck happened? And Amelia goes, yeah, where's my internet? <laughs> <laughs> She's in the other room. <laughs> okay, sorry about oh, that. Okay, there David, we go. All are, right. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Guys, this is the week before the giveaway. If you haven't already done so, get signed up right now. It's so simple. It only takes a minute. Get your family members involved, man. Get everyone involved because we're going to be giving away these machines live in Vegas at CanyonMachines.com's booth. So make sure you guys take a moment. Get your family members involved and sign up for this. It's so simple. In the link in, the, in this video or any of our videos, there's a link to our Discord. It's free to do. Sign up and click on the little rocket ship icon that says Giveaway Candy Machines. And you'll be entered in a chance to win this free spin, fully loaded and ready to go, shipped to your door. This thing is the new big beast on the block for amusement prizes. It's going to look so good in your, I don't know, your location, your arcade or whatever. And that we're going to be giving this away live in Vegas, like I said. And if you're going to the MVVA, make sure you join us on that boot, on that giveaway live stream. Because there's going to be so many of us celebrating this. And maybe, who knows, maybe the winner will be there in person. That would be the most glorious moment ever. And then there's a secondary prize, where it's, which is an amazing uh, prize. This is what Galaxy Games 843 has. It's this capsule machine, which is the far right of the image. This capsule machine is fully digital. And it can take bills and credit cards and coins. And it dispenses either a capsule, up to three inches, I believe, and also cards. And then to add to the excitement, our our favorite and our heroes of the YouTube channels, Quick Play, they have added a Super Mini as a third prize to celebrate their half a million subscriber base. So very exciting day. Make sure you guys sign up. Take a moment. You don't want to miss out on a free opportunity to win this. Very cool, man. Yes. Very cool. So you, you guys, we're giving these away next week, so get signed up. Yeah, and I mean, just so you guys know, we talked to Andy about everything that's going on with Candy Machines, and the giveaways are not going to stop. So we, when we get back, we'll know, probably we'll talk about it while we're that. at um, MBVA, where we'll talk about what the next giveaway is, and get that lined up for you guys, and then start that one. So it's just nonstop, and he's still going to support Yao, which is awesome. Totally doing the mini claw machine giveaways and stuff. So great guy. I think you guys are gonna, really going to like him. Um, if you watch the video that we did um, with the interview, like you can just tell he's just a cool guy. So very exciting. Hey, Jonathan, yeah. check, uh, check Discord real fast. Did you see the, the, the chat in Discord? Uh, no. The, and Anime Frank, if you're on the live. Oh, he's making thank fun you. of me. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate yeah. that. My funny face. Yeah. That must have been when my screen froze. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's your face. Yeah, now screen it's grab, yeah. An emoji, God, I believe. always got to be one group. jerk in the group, right? You can't be. Doing freeze like that. So, um, let's see. So, yeah. So, uh, let's see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. 
Um, so I did see one question way back there about about discount codes and candymachines.com. Will those be going away? And the answer is no. No. Uh, we talked about that in the interview. Uh, so there will still be discount codes for the Discord and probably multiple other streams as well. Um, but uh, there's, you know, nothing is changing. Nothing negative is going to happen with this whole thing. So we're super excited with this whole process. <laughs> Look, um, sweet bliss vending. So I have, I don't know if you guys have had these or not, but they're the Kirkland sparkling oh. water. So they're like the ice drinks. So I'm drinking one of those and then I've got my diet Dr. Pepper. So I am um, trying to do keto sort of like no carb, low carb kind of thing going on. So that's mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Cause I, I still like soda. So it's hard for me to not drink right. soda. You're telling and, me, man, I haven't drank soda in like three weeks. Well, and you have to drink a lot of water with, this diet because you i mean yeah so i'm trying to at least look a little bit better by the time i get there next week i don't know if it's gonna gonna happen or not but that's what i'm drinking so i have a, I have a combo going on usually i drink coffee and i had my creamer and i'm i'm not doing that because that's a little fattening so that's what i'm drinking if you must know so yeah these are actually really good and it's like ten dollars for like you know, a 24 well, it's pack. funny because didn't you have that in one of the mason jars when we first started tonight yeah so here's I it yeah there you go so yeah. i thought you were drinking a mountain dew baja blast and i was, I <laughs> I know, was so right? jealous like a baja blast. i was are, so jealous these are so good and they're cheap i mean it's 24 pack for for 10 bucks i mean or 10.79 nice. or something like that yeah. i mean but yeah, I do have my giant Diet Dr. Pepper too, so I'm, <laughs> to make me feel better about it. But yeah, so I'm, I'm doing different ones. So um, Lolly opened her arcade uh, last week too, same time as David uh, nice. in, in um, Southern California. Well, not Southern, I say almost Southern California, above LA. Um, and so they're doing really well, so exciting for them. And um, she, so they did kind of a soft opening like David did, and then they'll be in Vegas. You guys will meet, get to meet her and her husband, which is very cool. Very cool. Uh, a lot of exciting stuff going on for them too. Um, let's see, oops, I almost spilled my drink. Oh, it's not a live stream until <laughs> Jonathan spills his drink. <laughs> oh my God, crazy. Actually, I did spill it. Natalie, I need some paper towels. <laughs> Good. Yes. No, all right, guys. Now the party has officially started. Oh, you can tell man. it's the week before Vegas because right we are all scatterbrained and yeah, like right craziness. Oh no, I did. I spilled it. So sorry, guys. <laughs> That's what you get asking me what I had, and then I knock it over, and then I got like I got these pictures wet too. Okay. Okay. Oh, thanks, sorry man. about that, John. <laughs> luckily, oh, yes, my, luckily my wife's here. Otherwise, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Okay. On with the show. All right. All right. <laughs> Crisis averted. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Let's get back to the comments. So, I want to talk about... Let's talk about NVVA since we got let's a Let's talk here. about NVVA. Yeah. So, you pull up your... I okay. do. So, so okay. what all do we want to talk about for the website? Do we want to talk about how to join the NVVA or how so to... Gonna, yep. Okay. Because some people may still want to come. You know, and the more we talk about it, the more excited people get. So, let's talk about how to... Um, how to register or how to go on there um, and then show them where the discount is for the hotel sure. and all that kind of, if you would kind of walk yeah, them through it. I can I'll, do that. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Perfect. All right. So go ahead and pop my screen up for oh, everyone there it is, to right see. There. Yep. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Go ahead and make it large so everyone can see it. So this is nbva.org. It's the official website of the National Bulk Vendors Association. Uh, anyone can get to it just by going to nbva.org. Say that fast, guys. It's tough. Nbva.org. Nbva.org. I always trip over my words when talking about the NBVA. So my apologies for that. So there's multiple sections to the website. Of course, there's you know a section about the NBVA. There's a, there's a section for membership. And there's a section for the conference. And then, of course, there's some other stuff too. Some different programs, the scholarship. You can contact the NBVA and they have a store as well. So let's talk first about membership. So if you want to join the NBVA, even if you can't come to Vegas, it's a great organization to be a part of. You get lots of good information. And one thing that uh, if, if I can get onto the board I'm working on is creating kind of a multimedia center within the NBVA and maybe doing some social media stuff. But this would be great for members that are not able to attend the conference and the seminars. Uh, what I want to do is kind of implement, um, you know, this year's and last year's presentations that, you know, you can only see in Vegas. And right now you can only see them by going to the show. Yeah. But 
In my opinion, if you're a member, you should have access to that information just because you couldn't get to the show. So that's something I'd like to change. And that's something I'm going to work on if I'm able to get, you know, onto the board and kind of do all that stuff. But if you want to join membership to the MBVA, just go on the uh, membership, membership section here. And I had to log out of my account since I'm already a member. And what you'll want to do is go to the 2024 application. Okay. And then once this page loads up, um, basically all you need to do is kind of choose what level of membership you want. Now, obviously there's multiple levels. There's a supplier, operator level three, operator level two, and operator level one. Now, most of us are going to be operator level ones, which means you will operate zero to 99 machines. If you've got more than 99 machines, then of course you would want to look at op operator level two and we so on so and so forth. We were so excited we got to go up to two this year. We didn't think we were going to oh, be able to ever, but yeah, so that nice. was pretty exciting. Yeah. All right. And then of course there's also a supplier membership too, but um, you know, unless you're like candymachines.com or something like that, that's probably not what you're looking for. So for me, I am operator level one. So the cost to join the NBVA is only $100 fifty dollars for the year which is super reasonable in my opinion okay right. so if you want to apply to join and you're an operator level one or even if you're one of the different operator levels you'll just choose which operator level you are you fill out this quick but uh, form with your name you know a contact person if, if it's under a company name the address city state your email your phone number if you've got a fax number, go ahead and enter it. But I mean, who has a fax number these days? And then your website. <laughs> and then you can just enter your, your, your billing information, hit the operator level one button, and that submits your application to the NBVA. And I'm pretty sure everyone just gets approved. You know, I don't think it's like an actual like vote process or anything like that. So that's how you join the NBVA. And then, of course, like I said, there's all kinds of membership benefits. Um, the show is all the ultimate membership benefit. Uh, by joining the NBVA, you can then attend the show or the seminars. Uh, the show is technically separate. And then if you want to go to the show, let's go to this conference section here. So so basically, there's all kinds of information in here. If you want to uh, register as an attendee, which is what I would be, since I'm not um, you know, having a booth on the show floor or anything like that, um, there's all kinds of information about registering. You can register here just by clicking on register the NBVA, uh, register online. Of course, there's another link to join the NBVA too. If you're not a member, there you go. And then- Also, um, real quick, if you- Sure. your first year, you get a free pass to the show. To the show floor, yep. yes, that's yep. correct. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, otherwise, it's a separate fee, which right now there's still a discount available extended through this coming Friday. Yes. So if you guys want to get in there, you know, take advantage of that discount. I think right now, if it's not your first year, I think the discount, discount price is- one hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken, for show access. Does that sound right? I think it's a hundred dollars per pass. Yep. Per pass. Yeah. Yep. So, so basically, then um, let's talk about you know lodging because that's kind of you know hotels and lodging could be expensive, but there's actually a discount available. So, if you're under the conference tab, so if you go to the housing section here, uh, the designated hotel is the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino, which is technically right next door to the convention center where the actual show takes place. Now the seminars and different stuff like that, that will take place in the conference rooms at the Westgate. So if you're looking for a place to stay, the Westgate's probably your best option, but of course there's many other options in Vegas as well. But this one, there is a discount available. So let's scroll down here. So right now, the discounted rate per night is $95 for anyone that's going to be attending the show. Of course, there is resort fees on top of that, which, you know, that's that's everywhere in Vegas has a resort fee, which is on top of your per night fee. But $95 a night is such a great price. And I'm going to I'm going to be honest, guys, the Westgate is a really nice hotel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful. The rooms are are spacious and clean. Yeah, I was And that, that's what's important to me is the well, room's cleanliness for sure. The best part is that everything happens there. Yes. So I mean, all your seminars, all your dinners, everything in you know everything happens in that hotel. So you're so not you technically, yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. Everything's yeah. right there. And but if you guys, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say that like we, I don't know how many times you know all three of us were like, hey, we're gonna run up to the room and change our clothes, or we're gonna run up to the room and grab something, or put something away, or whatever. And if you were staying at another hotel, I mean, that would just be a pain. You'd have to get an Uber. You yes. know, go to your hotel or whatever, or take the, sh uh, what's the tram, you know, take the tram over or whatever. The monorail. The monorail. Yeah, the monorail. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. if you do stay on the strip, the, the Las Vegas monorail does have a stop 
at the convention center and at the Westgate Hotel. Yeah, so there is that bonus. Yep. Yeah, for sure. That is the but best. But anyway, thing to do. Oh, sorry. Yes, if you guys want to reserve a room at the Westgate, you can click on this link right here but you'll need to use this group code to get the actual discounted price. So if you just go in here and click the link and say, I want a room, you're going to get the regular price. You have to use this group code right here, this S A E. I think that's I four R is the discount, the discounted group code you'll need to use to get the discounted price of $95 per night plus resort fees. So that's Man. how it works. And I think they're, what are they? $30 per night? resort fees i think or something like that so it comes uh, up like 120 i, I scheduled one, mine so long ago i forget i how think much it was it only 15 dollars. i don't remember but it, it's not very i mean to get a hotel in vegas for 100 around 100 or 115 dollars is pretty amazing i mean that's just totally it, amazing yes where you are and where everything happens in the hub and you can walk to the convention center from the hotel there's all yes. indoor you know you can walk all the way across over there um so i mean it's just the best spot to be that's where everybody is and everything happens and they give you a great discount so i mean definitely jump on that it's not too late like they said they extended the the discount till friday and so you don't have to pay the extra fees when you come and sign up and the reason they do that is because when you get there there's a huge line to get your stuff and they have to go and print all your badges and do all your stuff so it's extra work for them Yes. Um, so that's why there's a cheaper price for doing it ahead of time because they can print everything and have it ready for you when you get there versus trying to do it, you know, the day of or whatever. So correct. Awesome. But yeah, so very cool. Thanks, man. Thanks. For of the, course, uh, of course. So and if you guys have any questions about that, you can contact us. You can, you know, I'm always available. Um, and if you have any questions about the MBVA, let me know. We still have tickets available for the, um, um, did I remove that for you? There we go. Okay. Sorry. Oh, wait. Where's oh, that? Oh, hey. There's me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you took me off. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. Okay. Got it. So, but, um, but guys, just so you know, um, before before you talk more about the tickets, some of the, some okay. of the, uh, um, the, um, the vendors that are going to be on the floor oh. are companies like CandyMachines.com, Brand Vending, AA Global, Cardinal Distributing, SSM Vending, Flatline, uh, Concord Confections, All Star Vending. Uh, of course, then there's the NBVA actual booth, Pipeline Games. Did I say Cardinal Distributing? Like these were all the great police, uh, people that we got to visit and check out last year. It was awesome. So I did and want to th highlight that real quick. Yeah, and this is just the NBVA. This is just section. yeah. This is just the NBVA. The whole the the amusement show is is um <laughs> it's in the same building and in, in the same it'll be surrounding this. Like you see all this stuff in red, oh, all this stuff in red. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry. I <laughs> all the all down. the all the stuff in red is is um is um the amusement show or people that are booked through the amusement show and it's not just you know eight squares. It's going to be so many more than that. I mean, yeah. you've seen, you watched our walkthrough videos from last year. This show yeah. is outstanding. It's huge, and you know, not like IAPA. It's all what we're into. Not just right. not just a little corner piece of it. And and the thing is too is that <clears throat> the the things that aren't on here that you will want to be visiting as as our group and the Discord and all the people that watch our live streams, um, you're gonna see you're gonna see um, you know good stuff. You're gonna see Fiesta. You're gonna Nyax. see all of the you know, yeah Nyax, um, Kiosa. All these people are gonna have booths that you're going to want to visit because they're all part of what we do, but they're just not in the MBVA section. They're in the, yes. but it's all one big giant thing. But to give you an idea, there's so much more. This is just the people that signed up under the MBVA section that are on this list. So um, people know where to find their favorites because in the MBVA, like th these are, I mean, all these people are buddies. And by the time you let, by the time you leave the show, you'll be buddies with all these people. And that's what's kind of cool is that you'll know all these people on a one-on-one -on -one basis and, um, you know, have orders probably placed by the time you leave with all these people too, which is very cool. So, yes. Yay. Okay, cool. Very so, cool. Back to these. I got a hundred more. If anybody wants some, please. Um, yeah. So I'll 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 tell um, Rick from Rick's Vending that I need a hundred more tickets, and um, let's we'll see if we can sell a hundred more by the end of the broadcast. All you need to do is Venmo me at Howard Hospitality Group at gmail.com as a friend, and um, they're five dollars a piece. I'm not very good at holding these. I'm not Vanna. Well, probably most people don't remember Vanna, but. Um, yeah, five dollars a piece. So buy some tickets. Where did he go? Why does Matt keep disappearing? Why do you keep taking me <laughs> off the stage, man? I didn't mean to do that. I swear, I didn't do anything. 
Oh, you guys are so goofy. Oh my god. I feel so What bad. a show, right? What a yeah. show, guys. First I disappear <laughs> and then you disappear and then it, okay. So, all right. Um resort fee is $30 a night. Okay. So, it would be 130. Thanks Mike. Thanks Mike. Appreciate that. 125 a night then. And, with the resort fees. Um David is driving also. So, he'll have yes. his car. He'll probably be driving all of us around cuz we'll, then we save on Uber ah. fees. I don't know about that. Oh. I don't like driving oh. through Vegas. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe I mean, Natalie we, will drive us. We really don't have to go very many places. I mean, when we, if we do go to Fremont Street, we'll just take an Uber. It's it's easy. Yeah, that's true. Or if we want to go yeah. to the Strip, we'll just take the monorail. I'll put money down for Uber this time. I'll pay because last time you paid for me. Whoever paid last time, I'm I'm paying this time for the Uber. <laughs> there we go. So, for sure, you guys. Someone. I don't. I think it was Natalie paid for us. It was so sweet. Very much. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay. All right, another super chat coming in this time from Neon Starship with a five dollar super chat. It says we are definitely coming to the NBVA twenty twenty five. This year was out of the cards, hard to travel with a one year old. Absolutely, I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. uh, we can't wait to meet everyone next year. Awesome Starship, thanks for uh, thanks for the super chat, and we'll be definitely glad to meet you next year as well. Sorry, I'm wiping up my drink. I just realized there's more I missed. So <laughs> MBVA 2025. I've been told by so many people that they're going to go to 2025. That is too early for them. I you tell you what, they, though. I've, I've also, I think I've gotten Mrs. Galaxy Games 843 um, involved for 2025 as well. She couldn't make it this year, but I think she she might be able to she attend She needs to tell them to change their trips. Like, you know, this is important. Frank, they you're crazy. They can't go on school trips when we're going to Vegas. That's just not I know, okay. I know. Those kids can wait, man. They, gotta, they can go the next <laughs> week. <laughs> right oh my gosh so um yes please buy the hundred tickets frank please, i need do to it sell do it frank do it come on frank jonathan All will of, sing for you i will sing heck yeah i'll sing for mbva i see? will sing for 100 tickets 100 percent. i don't know what i'll sing maybe i can get amelia to come out here and sing with me uh i doubt it because she'll get embarrassed but um i could try um but yeah so no it's it is probably, I think, the biggest show of the year. I'm excited to go. Uh, I'm excited to see everybody. I can't believe, I wish I had a count because uh, the, the MBVA was asking me the other day, like, how many people do you think are going to come from the Discord? And I'm like, I don't know. You know, so like, up I don't, in the air. It's so it up is in the so air, up in yeah. the air. So it, it's exciting to see the people. You know, we kind of get a little bit of, of, of knowledge from doing this, but we really don't know because this is only right now 50 people that are in the room. Uh, that right. we're hearing from versus, you know, all was it 12? How many people we have in the Discord now? It's over like 3,000. It's yeah. over 3,000. Over yeah. 3,000 people. So um, let's see. Tinker's Toys and Hobby wants 10 more tickets. There you go. Sweet. Yay. Nice. Thank you, Tinker Toys and Hobbies. So then, yeah, that is cool. So, so Anime Frank, you still can buy 100. So we'll do 110. There I have no go. problem doing that. I will get as many tickets as anybody wants. Um, so your, your while, while, while you're looking tired. at all that stuff, let, yeah, let's so. talk a little bit. Let's talk a little bit more about the NBVA and kind of okay. maybe some of the things that we're excited for, and maybe some of the things that we're, you know, looking forward to seeing or things like that. So I know if you guys watch the interview that Jonathan and I had with Andy from CandyMachines.com, he kind of hinted at some some new stuff, some never before seen stuff. He wouldn't tell us what it was, so don't 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 go asking because we don't know. But I think they're going to have some tricks up their sleeve, and I can't wait to see what you know new machines or what new technology or whatever they got up their sleeve. I can't wait to see what it is revealed. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. And and there's going to be a lot of other vendors with new stuff this year, and I I really think we're going to see a lot of clip machines this year. Um, that sure. seems to be a very popular machine that I think a lot of different people will have a lot of different versions of that machine. Mm -hmm. I know that um, Rainy has a large version of that, and then she's coming out with a smaller version of that. I don't like know. Like a mini? You know, yeah. Uh, no, a clip machine. Mini clip machine. A mini clip machine. Yes, yes exactly. Mini, oh, I'm sorry. It has like uh, mini uh, prize lockers on it, too. Ooh, yeah. That's awesome. Do you know if they're going to be at the show? Ooh, Rainy? Yeah. Oh, no. They, they, they're in China. <laughs> well, there's going to be a lot of there Chinese. were a lot there there were a lot of uh, manufacturers from China at IAPA, so you never know. You, you never know, know who's going to be there. I want to ask her about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I'm talking to her right now. Actually, she's messaging me about things. Um, I'm gonna message her. 
Hey, Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think I've caught up. Um, oh, and Lane Amusement says, don't forget, he was there last year also. He's been there the year before when we were there. Um, don't forget, the Westgate also has free shuttles to the Strip and Fremont Street, know. which that's, we didn't even know about last that's, year. That's good info, yeah. yeah. That's good info. Very cool. I didn't know that. I saw Mr. Mulberry was in the chat just a minute ago. Did you I see that? I saw him too, and I was trying to find that. There he is. There we howdy. go. Mr. Mulberry, Rob Skidmore. Howdy. Hey, man. How's it going? How, I mean, she's got to be raided. I, you know, I, I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, we're, we, I see her post on Facebook and I know she's ready. She's, uh, she's talking about, she's ready. She's ready to. She was running to, today. I think yeah. yesterday. She Something was, like she that. Was, yeah. I, mean, I don't, I can't believe she's even doing that. So um, right. I can't wait to hear when the baby's born. Super yes. exciting. Um, and they're talking about moving to a new place. I think Texas, I think is what they said. So I'm not sure where, but I did see they were going to be moving. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, cool. um, yes, Tinker Toys and Hobbies, I, that's what I was saying earlier. They are doing a lot of videos lately, a lot of shorts. Um, looks like they did, and I don't know if I missed it, if they did like a live stream or what, or like some sort of something, and then they took clips out of it. Um, but I don't know if I missed their live stream or what it was, but they had clips from where they answered people's questions, which was really cool. And they yeah. did a bunch of shorts out of it. So I was watching those today. Um, so there you go, Sweet Bliss. We were just talking about them right now. So nope. um, and and he's in the chat right now. Uh, she's probably asleep. I'm guessing. <laughs> <She's> probably <laughs> tired. If, I'm, so, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Baby building is a lot of hard work. Did Frank buy them? Did I miss that he bought them, or they're just saying that would be generous to do? Probably just saying that would be generous okay. to do. Because I haven't yeah. gotten any notifications yet. And I didn't see Tinker Toys come through, but it doesn't mean it hasn't come through. I just sure. It's just hard to do it while we're on a stream. So when I get done, I can get with you guys afterwards. Uh, Quick Play should be coming in, hopefully, they said, in, in like 20 minutes or so. And then they'll join us, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see them in the room, which would be really cool. Um, yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing probably the second hour of the show they'll be, they'll be joining so, do you know what this is about, Matt? Uh, I'm guessing that's involving the uh, CandyMachines.com acqu acquiring announcement. Um, but he says for, arcade scene, which is weird. So, I don't know if that would be, if he means is there an auction coming or something to that effect? Well, there is know. an auction this weekend, but unfortunately, I'm not able to attend and film because I'm yeah. preparing for the Vegas trip. <laughs> <laughs> so otherwise, otherwise, if Vegas wasn't this coming week, I would be in North Carolina this weekend for another arcade pinball vending coin up and all things cool auction. <laughs> but I will not be. You said that so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I wanted to talk about, so we got that. We talked about tickets. We talked about MVVA. Um, we talked about candy machines and all of that. Um, wanted to talk about what else did I want to cover? I want to cover Yao tonight too and talk about that. Um, a lot of exciting stuff. I have a new um, person that submitted their information in Yao. Um, but just so you guys know, I need uh, dad or mom to write me an email and say it's okay to post your information on um, all social media and the website and all that stuff. So his dad did send me the email with his video and his little blurb, but I need that actual written okay from dad to say, yes, you can post this. So I, I'm waiting for your email to come in and then I can actually post everything. Then we can talk about it on the live stream. David said he had somebody that he thinks uh, locally where you are that came into your arcade yeah. that might be interested in doing that also, which is very cool. Um, so yeah all about it i just need some so those of you who don't know let me pop up in the logo and i'll just put it next yeah time. and i um, explained to them how important it was to get a written uh approval like to contact um us on discord and then like, it is and it's just approval. to cover everybody to make sure that um you know like we're all covered um but it is uh we for those of you who don't know we all the three of us and the kids uh, and, and and Natalie and all of us, we work together, including Quick Play, to um, start a nonprofit called Yao, Young Entrepreneurs of the World, uh, to give away one mini claw machine every single month to a young entrepreneur to get their vending journey started. Uh, and Candy Machines is going to be continuing on that for us, which is exciting. And um, so all you need to do is just email us a uh, letter uh, explaining why you wanted to get into the vending industry and, and what your plans are and who you are and a little bit about you and then do a one minute video 
and that's all you have to do and send it to us and get your um, an email with your parents approval to post that on all the all the powers that be in the social world and then I can get that up and on the website and the website is yaokids.org and um, yeah so right the week at, when we come back we'll be doing our next giveaway for yeah which is pretty cool so we'll do one giveaway in vegas come back and all three of we're, us will we're just it. we're just handing out machines yeah, yeah. <laughs> how cool is that so very cool so that'll be the last week of uh, march and we'll do that giveaway for the next person right now uh with this new person it'll be a one in six chance and then if david's person comes in um it'll be i think that's right right or is it one in five right now and then if david's person comes in it'll be one in six so one six yeah one pretty good odds there. man yeah, pretty yeah cool. really good odds so very cool and we're hoping it'll grow. Perfect, perfect. So we we have another super chat. What did I miss it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> another super chat from Andy at CandyMachines.com says, "Can we do a jersey swap at the show? If you've got <laughs> merch, I want to wear your hoodie or shirt." Quick play? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Yeah, I think Andy wants one of those green slime shirts. <laughs> those things are awesome. <laughs> those are cool. Yeah, yeah, I got one. I got one at the show last year. And Mrs. Galaxy Games eight four three wears it. She Natalie took, wears yeah, the one that yeah, we she got, took it. so she wears it she all the time. It. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be seeking out maybe a, a new a new updated copy of uh, the Quick Play shirt this yeah, year. Yeah, get some big ones this time because I'm fat <laughs> and I, I couldn't wear it. So Natalie wears it all the time, uh, just like um, Don does. So I, I can't I can't wear it. So if you have some two XLs, I'll take one of those. So I'd love <laughs> to have a Quick Play two XL. Hint hint. Hint. Yeah. So very cool. Um, Anthony says he'll text you later, Matt. Don't know what he's talking about. So talk about, uh, well, he, he got that cutoff message previously. Then he, uh, the update was that there's information about an arcade in Myrtle beach. So maybe there'll be some more news to come on that. He's going to message me later. So we'll talk about it. Okay. Uh, comp magic. Do you want to fill him in on your new arcade? David, we did a little bit in the beginning. Do you want to yeah, fill him in, uh, fill in everybody well, in that might be coming in a little late? Yeah. So, the arcade officially opened on, well, the soft opening was on Sunday, and I was, uh, you guys want to know numbers? Like, do you guys care for numbers? Um, well, uh, so I got Kiosoft, it's automatic, fully operational. Um, I don't have to be there to have it be running and making money. Uh, Sunday was uh, about $700, and then uh, and Sunday, and, and Monday, Tuesday, and they've each done about 150 plus each day. I think we did uh, so over 300, almost 350 dollars between Monday and Tuesday, and then today it's done about similar, like 150 plus. So I mean, it's doing decent. It's a soft opening. We're not done decorating and stuff. I'm pretty excited because there's no one there and it's making money. I think, I think we could push 10 to 12 thousand a month. I don't know how weekends are really going to be because we haven't been open on a Friday or Saturday yet. I think you're going to be surprised and do even better numbers than that. Yeah, especially I really spring do. break and the mm -hmm. summer. Yeah, I'm hoping. I think, like, I think got, you're underestimating. Well, I'm just trying to be – I don't want to oversell it. I don't want to be like, okay, yeah. Um, but I think being unmanned, I, I think it's very possible. It's What's, what's interesting is uh, where I'm at, it's a perfect entrance, and they're going to be having um, a car show this Saturday at that parking lot right at my entrance. And then sometime, then it's supposed to be spring break, and I think sometime they have a carnival in that parking lot where I, where my where my entrance is. I don't know if the carnival is going to hurt me or not, but uh, um, you know because it might no, draw it the won't. crowd. It won't. So I, I don't know. There's it's too many unknowns, but I'm real excited, and I'm I am happy with the weekdays so far because I don't that that mall does not get busy on the weekdays. It gets all its business on the weekends, and of course when there's no school and there's holidays, they get a crazy busy. That sure. Sure. Ticket toys and hobby, hobbies. I got your, your Venmo. So um, I got the first one, anyways. I don't know if there was Ooh. two or what, but I got it. So don't stress. Um, I'm excited, man. I I really, this is just my opinion, but I really feel like with those new card systems and stuff, like especially Kiosoft, because it is so new. It's like a brand new system that's come out that a lot of people need help. You know, like they don't really know what to do. So I think being there more is going to help you kind of in the beginning. And then the more people know, then they can help each other, you know, when they come to the kiosk and stuff. So I really think like, I know it's hard for you cause like you're so busy, but, um, 
like the more you can probably be there, I think the better you're going to do, you know, honestly, because people don't really know. Most people go and stick a dollar in a machine and then it works. You know, they're not really used to going to kiosks and stuff. So I think that that's going to help you in the long run. More Super Chats coming in. Up next from Dino's Dispensers and Arcade, a $5 Super Chat. I do too. It says the Gamer Quest is doing fantastic at the grocery store. Yeah. $881 so far for the month of Let's March. Go, the man. new best location. It's, oh, it's not even halfway through Disneyland. Not even halfway not even through yet. Disneyland. I know you can't do uh, this yeah, kind that's, of That's impossible. You know, wow. Some people would say that's impossible. You're that staging impossible. that. That's such a lie. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a backstory, guys. We're not going to talk yeah, about that, if though. If you don't know about it, well, send us a message. We'll fill you in on, on that. And if you're going to we'll fill you in. Congratulations yeah. on that, that those results. That's outstanding. Nice work. That's that's insane. That's insane. I mean, it could be over sixteen hundred dollars by the end of the month. One machine. Totally for awesome. one machine. Exactly. Up next, another super chat. This one coming in from Seven Twenty Vending for four ninety nine. Says I'm going to win the giveaway at the NBVA. Which giveaway? Because there's so many of them. Yeah, there's a ton. <laughs> Plus, uh, at all the booths, they have giveaways. Yes. So you can do, not all of them, but a lot of them, you can enter to win things and stuff, So which is really cool, too. And um, yes. they don't want to take these machines home. So definitely talk to them about what they're going to do with their machines because they don't they don't want to take them back with them. So definitely. That's how I, I, I scored two machines at IAPA because I, yeah. I drove there. But when you fly there, it's a lot harder to take machines home. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um... So she's so Lolly's wondering the same thing with with whether or not it'll affect their um, their you know thing because she's have looks like they're having a carnival at her location also. So I really think that those type of events bring more people in. Like yep. I'd be That's out handing out cards personally. Like I'd be handing out uh, like dollar free play or something to all these people that are at the carnival. I mean, if you got the time to be walking around, like say, hey, go check out the arcade and here's a dollar. Just a thought. I don't know what you want to do. It's you know, it's your business or whatever. But I'd be out there handing out those things. Oh, yeah, get sure. people inside. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because once they go in there, then they'll they'll keep playing. Is is your goal, right? And then or at least see it, and then next time they're around, they'll come back and play. Um, but definitely hand out some cards and and do that. And do some marketing for sure. So all right, um, good. We're all caught up on our comments. I think I don't think we I are missed anything. Halfway through the stream already, though, guys. Well, I got to talk about the giveaway again. That first hour yeah. just flew by. That's crazy. So yeah, we're, we're almost we're almost to fifty people in here right now, which is awesome. Um, and remember, see. guys, this is the last live stream before Vegas. So you know, tonight's the night. And check out the green room. Looks like we got some guests joining us. Oh, my. Oh, it's it's a nap. You know what's Look at those guys. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Look at those fly shirts, too. Man. Quick play, Las Vegas. Las Vegas 2024. (laughs) I need need one of those shirts for sure. Wow, me too. 2XL. Hint, hint. And 15 larges to just hand out. So there we go. So I'm a. Uh, that'll my, fit my leg. My, save, save, <laughs> save one for my wife. My wife loves your guys. Yeah. Uh, last you year, it, she wears it. Like we do collections all the time. Oh, thank you guys. She <laughs> absolutely loves black and quick play low is so amazing. And what guys are you know, so, like, oh, wears it all the time. And it looks awesome. Yeah. We'll oh my god, I'm so excited to see you guys next week, man. Yes. It's gonna be, so know, much fun. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a blast. Really whole year. Yeah. yeah, it has been well, a year. It's gonna be so exciting. And and now that I know Cody a lot better than I did in the beginning last year, like we're gonna have way more fun this year. <laughs> it's so funny because I, I don't know. I mean I think I told I, I mean I talked to Matt and, and David about it, but but those of you who don't when you first meet Cody, he's very quiet. Like he's not you don't get his sense of humor. And then once you hang out with him for a little bit, yeah, then the real sense of humor comes out and it, it is awesome. So it, he's got a great sense of humor. So I'm excited to hang out with him this year. Yes. That's going to be a blast. Looking to hang out with all of Hey, you. Kevin's here in the chat, too. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks <laughs> hey, for Kevin. joining us tonight. Nice. Kevin. We appreciate you always, so thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> you guys are chat. celebrities. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, 
between all three of uh, you know Jonathan, David, and I, we don't even yeah, have nobody. a percentage of the subscribers oh, that Quick Play has. Oh, and guys, we haven't we haven't officially got to tell you this on the air. Congratulations yeah. on surpassing five hundred thousand subscribers. Thank you. That's yeah, so cool. Give away that many. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Give away that many. We Very appreciate cool. that you guys kicking that in there for uh, for for one of, of the lucky winners yeah. out there. That's so cool. Huge giveaway. Huge giveaway. <laughs> Huge year. So awesome. Very cool. People are congratulating Kevin on the sale. Yes, very We're exciting. Miss you, Kevin. Yes, congrats, Kevin. So, yeah. I, I know, I know, Kev, Kevin will be, you know, kind of transitioning away from CandyMachines.com. But, you know, look at his comments in the Discord. He's going to remain a part of the community. He wants to be involved. Yeah. So I don't think I, that this doesn't mean goodbye for Kevin. I think this just means maybe a new, a new yeah. beginning for Kevin. Exactly. So he's still going to be around. We're still going to talk to him. I'm still going to talk to him. I'm still going to call and text him for sure. So. That's cool. <laughs> Red Claw Vending says, yo, quick play. You're on dope shirts. Absolutely. Your shirts are dope. Thank you, my guy. <laughs> we got two super chats already. Two super yeah. chats. All right, let's go and hit those super chats, and then we can talk about the giveaway again. All right, Dino's Dispensers and Arcade says, can we get a big yeehaw from quick play? One, two, three. Yeehaw! Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I feel like there might have been some practice in there. Were you guys at like yeah. yeehaw yeah, competitions you know, in the past? Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Well, they were down on Fremont Street last year with those cowboys, remember? Oh, that's, that's right. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I guess that's I guess that's where it comes from, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. And then, do we got one more? Yeah, sorry. There we I'm go. Up. That thing wasn't working. There we go. One more <laughs> air horn from Waco's Car Wash Channel. Elevators and more. Yeah, Coming yeah, in with yeah. another $5 Super Chat saying this Sunday, he's going to go live on his channel for his eighth YouTube anniversary at the Windstar World Casino in Oklahoma. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So we're all going to be casinoing on Sunday, the 17th. That's cool. Thanks for the Super Chat. Elite Claw wants to know if they can buy a shirt from you guys quick play. Yeah, are, yeah. are you guys going to sell some merch? They're all free. Yeah, if you go to Vegas. Free. Just come say hi, boom, free shirt. There you go. Shirt for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> so excited, dude. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, my God. I remember the first year we went, like, we didn't know anybody. And, and I, you know, I, we kind of walked around and we had seen Jaime and, and, and uh, Dominic and all these people, you know, on, on YouTube. And, like, nobody really knew who we were. Uh, and we were kind of walking around and, like, we meet people and we kind of felt like, you know, it's kind of like culture shock. But like everybody was so nice, you know, it so didn't cool. feel yeah. like it was yeah. it was awkward or whatever. And so it's going to be good for a lot of people that, um, you know, that are new this year that they 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 realize like when they meet us in person, we're just like everybody else. And like everybody's super inviting and kind and, you know, totally. it's not awkward totally. or weird. And so, yeah, very exciting. So. Very cool. Speaking, speaking of Jaime, man, have you seen him blowing yeah, up? Yeah, like, like, he's on uh, Wall Street Journal. He's on Fox, Fox News. News. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Delwood oh, called me celebrity. up. And That's he's like, it's Jaime. Oh, yeah. like, yeah. What are you yeah. talking about? And he's like, Jaime's on Fox News. Yeah. And, <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. So cool. I I talked to him the other day, and uh, unfortunately, he's not coming to Vegas. Yeah, that's so that. upsetting. Yeah, that's said, yeah. that's yeah. so he's, upsetting. Yeah, Super he's got he's he, he's too busy. He's too yeah. big now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're gonna miss him though. That's for sure. We're gonna miss Jaime. It's not. It's it's, it's 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 unfortunate he can't be there. That's okay. We'll see him. Well, he said he's gonna go to. He might go to Iapa, right? Isn't that what he said? Oh, possibly. Nice. Um, he I don't know. know. Um, I don't know. He's got a lot going on right now. He's a very busy guy. Very exciting. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. He's, he's, star, he's, you know? he's in all the publications and news news. Uh, yeah, shows. he's signing autographs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to, Matt? Do you want to do the giveaway and then sure. uh, play? Can talk about their five hundred thousand subscribers and their part of the giveaway. Sure. We yeah. Together? We okay. we we, 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 could, we could tag team this. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys. Like like we said in the beginning of the show and halfway through the show now. This is the last live stream prior to the giveaway. So next week at this time, there will be winners announced. So as you know, we're giving away three machines. The free spin clip machine, as you see there on your screen, is the grand prize. So one lucky winner is going to take that home. 
The runner-up prize will be the electronic bulk vending machine. Both these machines, of course, from candymachines.com. Thanks, Kevin and Andy. We appreciate that. And then, quick play, you guys, again, celebrating 500,000 subscribers. You're kicking in a prize, too. That's right. Absolutely. We are giving away a super mini Ooh. claw machine. Tell them more. Yes. <laughs> with everything you need. Uh-huh. The Nyax Reader. What? Ooh, Old bonus. Plush. <laughs> yeah. Everything you need to either start or expand your business for free. They're going to be set. They're going to be set and ready to expand, start Ooh, their so business. Cool. Ooh, yes. Because it's free. You can't be free. Yeah. Free is sweet. Have you ever heard of something better than a free super mini, free spin, and electronic vending machine giving uh, away in one day? That's unbelievable. Only if unbelievable. they would deliver it to you for free too, right? Which they're going to do. That's <laughs> yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> yes. So, guys, make sure you guys get signed up for the giveaway. You can find all the information in the Discord server. Just join the Discord, click on that giveaway tab, fill out the form, and then you're registered to win. The winners will be drawn one week from today, March 20th, live from the CandyMachines.com booth at the NBVA show in Las Vegas, Nevada. So get signed up, guys. This is going to be epic. Vegas, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And do I see Jaime is now in the chat? The chat yes. now, now we have a real <laughs> <He's like laughs> That's right. In the house. In the house. Jaime in the house. He came in at the perfect time, he says, as we were talking him up. So there we go. He says, he says keep going. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for joining us, Jaime. Glad, glad to have you here. Man. Yes. I mean, so exciting. What did what I mean? Doors must be opening up for you really good now. I mean, you're yeah. featured in, in the Wall Street Journal on Bro, Fox, I saw you News. On Fox News. Can you put your vending machine here? Right, <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. Very cool, man. Your your uh, your route just expanded. I'm sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> you deserve it. You work if you hard. You want to join us? Let us know. You're more than welcome Definitely. to come yeah. in. And I and I know you're not going to MBVA, which is sad because I'd love to have you there for the drawing and all that stuff. But congratulations, um, man. Very cool. Exciting stuff, man. Awesome. Yeah. Very uh, cool. Uh, quick play. Andy Denton has a question for you. Oh, shoot. The owner he of wants to machine. know. Yeah, he wants to know how's your key catcher machine doing? Because the rest of us that have key catchers, they're doing awesome. And I'm sure they're doing good for you. But you want to give us some, some, some info? Yeah, I'll tell you this. The one that we replaced in our grocery store location does like double what that old 31 inch did. I'm sure. And the one in our arcade is the best performing claw machine in the arcade. Now, in all fairness, it's right next to the bill changer. Or you have to go to get changed. But look, we're a little biased. Just we might be. A little, little I mean, biased. I mean, your name, your name is on the machine. Of course, oh. you're going to be a little bit biased. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, they, they are doing phenomenal. We love them. I know they sell like hotcakes. Every, yes. Everybody I've heard from as well that has them has had great experiences with them. I mean, you know, four prize lockers, double coin max. You can't go wrong. They're a great machine. Excellent. It's definitely yeah. one of my best performing machines. It's the best performing machine at that location. It's even beating out my barber cut, which has always Yours been my highest it. earner. Yes. We all know that. I Yours mean, I love that. watching the <laughs> yeah. crazy. I just, I yes. can't believe how good it looks in person. Like, I, I, I don't think, you yeah. know, unless, and a lot, a lot of people, I mean, you did a little bit of a video on it, um, um, Matt, but like seeing it in person is a whole yeah. other story. So I mean, I'm hoping Andy will have one at the show because you got to see this machine. Like it is it's like yes. you walk in and it's it's like Pulp Fiction when they open the box. You know, it's, it's so like, true because <laughs> like, I mean, we've all we've all done videos, but like videos just don't do no. this machine justice. Like like you yeah. you yeah you open a door and you walk in, and it's like oh yeah. like, you know, the, the the heavens have opened up and the the lights are shining down on you. There's, it's just so eye catching and so attractive. It's awesome. I don't know if it's the white lights with the green. I just don't yeah. know what it is. But I remember walking around the corner and I was down you know, one whole section down and I could see it like a mile away. Like it was just, it's very cool. So you guys did an awesome job designing it to, to Kevin for actually making it all happen. You know, sourcing all the actual everything to actually build the machine. I and mean, then of course, E3 vending E3, yeah. for like finalizing that design. I mean, those two really are what made it what it is. I mean, we had the idea of the key catcher, but right. it's E3 and Kevin that like made it come to life. So yeah. I Put that out there. So Kevin awesome. Thank you. Bang up, Joe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. 
Okay, so I'm just checking, see if I missed anything here. I don't think I did. I, know, I saw I saw one comment where somebody was uh, applauding Cody for holding that dude accountable for those those uh, those coin pusher thefts. You scoundrel! I will, <laughs> I will call you out. Uh, yeah, I did too. Made him put every quarter back in. Every quarter back in. <laughs> that was so awesome. Him put him back in, and you know it was it was one of those things that. As soon as I caught him, I couldn't believe it. So I'll, I'll, I'll make this story as short as possible. I come in. I'm, I'm going to fill up the magic cut. I got everything I need for, uh, like, St. Patrick's Day and everything. And there he is. I can't believe it. He's right there. He's doing his thing. He's got his big baggy hoodie on. And he's got the Slim Jim up his sleeve like a magician. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, I rush in the back, I grab my metal ruler that I grabbed from Staples, and, and I tested it myself. I put a little little bend in it, and I kind of slipped it through, and I could get some quarters off. So yeah, I shared I, that picture in the video. Yeah, I, I found the, you know, the way he was doing it, so I come out and I show it to him. I'm like, is this how you're doing it? And he's just like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just playing, I'm just playing the coin pusher. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Like, Look, yeah. Man, the jig is up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. We're here in person. I just need to know how you're doing it. It's like, okay, it's a Slim Jim. And I'm just a Slim Jim, like the thing that you use to break into cars. It's like, oh, well, well, hang on. I don't know how to do all of that. Yeah, okay. Of course sure. you don't. Why would you have one otherwise? <laughs> right, right, right. And, you know, I get to talking to him a little bit more. He goes to a, a local high school, you know, that we have in town, and which is why know, we didn't call the cops and stuff. I mean, he's a, he's a kid. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know. and you know, we get to talking, and and I think out of everybody that goes to those coin pushers and the people that hit them and they put their shoulder into them and they kick them and all of that kind of stuff, you know, I applaud his ingenuity in kind of finding the exploits of this machine it's it's unique and it's different you know he was found out it was clever sure, it, it was, was very clever. Was clever and um you know just kind of talking to him like you know if you just apply yourself and you and you can kind of do use that ingenuity for right good thing, yeah you could <laughs> actually go far because out of everybody that's abused these machines not a single person has done what you've done and i think that speaks volumes um for what you know the potential that you have and I don't know if I really got to him, you know, got through to him or anything, but... You tried your best. I tried my best. I also tried <laughs> to get the Slim Jim from him. That wasn't really working out, and that wasn't really happening. Um, but, you know, it wasn't anything crazy. I wasn't yelling or screaming. Neither was he. I yeah. think he was very embarrassed about what happened. And, you know, just like, look, whatever you have, whatever quarters you have, I've also noticed that you haven't put any money into the changer. So I know all the quarters that you have with you aren't legit or stolen. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> yeah. go ahead and just put those back into the machines that you took them from and we'll be good. And and that's what happened. So, you know, um, dealt with. You know, dealt with. Respect, respectable way, you know? Yeah, and, and no hard feelings. And, you know, I I don't like calling the cops unless I absolutely have to and making a big scene and and that kind of thing. So that was uh, that was it. Yeah. Cody handed out life lessons over there. Man, That's well, awesome. Well, <laughs> I'm the teacher. I mean, come on. It's, it's... Well, mad respect for you, Cody, because, like, honestly, yeah. like, I, I substitute teach sometimes, you know, and so I deal with these kids, like, on a regular basis. And a lot of times when you show them respect, like, you did. You know what I mean? You basically said, you know, hey, let's just, like, let's just work this out and be cool about it. Those kids will probably be the ones that if they go back with their friends – and try to break in or try to do stuff to your machines. They're the ones that are going to say, hey, man, they're cool. Like, let's just not, yeah. you know, let's not mess with the machines anymore. So you may have made a friend. You may not think it happens now. But in the long run, you know, they he, they may come back and actually, that's what happens when I substitute teach because I'm actually pretty chill and cool. So like, oh, Mr. Howard, we like to have Mr. Howard because he's cool, you know. And that's, it's paid forward, you know, over time that like they all want me to teach because they know I'm cool. So like I give them respect. But at the same time, they respect me back. And I think that that's what you did, which is very cool. 
That was a great yeah. way to yeah. handle well, it. Well, he was also telling me, he was like, you're not going to have any more problems with me. Like, like I'm sorry. Very apologetic. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry that this was so, you know, it was dumb. And, you know, he also got a little selfish, you know, hitting the same spot twice, you know, uh, you know, just back to back uh, like that. I think that's what actually got him caught because before, you know, there was a swipe off the off the coin pusher field and we were just kind of all scratching our heads like, you know, you know, Eli and I and the security guard and everybody like how how is this person doing it? And I just happened to pull up the security camera at the right time and there it was. Wow. So, Crazy. yeah, it, it, it was just bound to happen sooner or later, but yeah, it's very strange how it all came together <laughs> very cool i mean those those machines have taken a beating right they, they they've had so many uh attempts oh, man. You just, if you if you were like in front of them you should just see all the yeah. permanent marks on them all the battle scars on all those the machines. battle scars exactly <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous yeah, yeah it is. Hey, at least it always makes for good content, right? So that's that's the way we got to spin it. Does. <laughs> we, that's how. That's what we figure. We make the most of a bad situation. Yes. We're just show everybody on YouTube what happened. You know? Well, that's what I'm talking funny, about. I mean, Matt Matt will respect this because he's old like me. But you know, it's like on those machines, it's like you a teamed them. You know, like they used to watch the A team when we were kids, Matt and I, and like they take a vehicle and like put all this armor on it and stuff. And you guys have basically made those things almost pretty much <laughs> we bulletproof. Have. <laughs> I think we I think uh, Mr. T would say, really yeah. yeah, Mr. T would say he pities the fool that tries yeah, to break these machines now. Try to rip up my machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And then Hannibal would say, I love it when a plan comes together. You know. Yes. <laughs> There we go. All right. A couple more Super Chats coming in. First one, we do have one previous to this, too. Just, oh, we do? Just so you I know, missed we it. We do. But that's okay. This one's from Nicole. Hey, Nicole. Thanks hey, for Nicole. joining us. Hey. Appreciate hey, you Nicole. being here. Nicole with a $5 Super Chat says, Hi, Howard Hospitality Group. Extreme Vending. Quick Play. Extreme Vending again in Galaxy Games. How are you all doing? All you guys <laughs> are cool. You. Hashtag spread love. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. You're Thanks cool. for being here. Yeah. You She's are cool. So supportive. Yes. We appreciate all that. Thank and you. I think, there, I think there was one from Waco up there, too. There we go. Waco's Car Wash, Channel Elevators and More, keeping us alive tonight with another $5 Super Chat. It says, Quick oh, Play. Are there, have there been any more break-ins for those coin pushers? Not since the Slim Jim incident. Not since the Good. Slim Jim. I mean, they're armored like armored trucks. At this <laughs> <laughs> they are. Be like, I couldn't get into this if I wanted to. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's like... We do have a little bit of a problem with our junk, junk pusher. Yeah, the yeah. junk pusher. Uh, pennies, nickels, dimes, and people even put quarters. If people are putting quarters bolted. in those. Yeah, right. It's not bolted, so they just like to grab the back and just. <laughs> and yeah. It doesn't work. You must have to trap door. Yeah, of course. But yeah. yeah, it's doesn't stop them from trying. That's a little for bit sure. of a problem. I'm sure not. <laughs> Jokes on them, though. Yeah. Eli and Cody, do me a favor. Pull that microphone between the two of you because it's hard to hear Cody a little bit. Can you guys put it okay. between? You? Or Cody, jump up on that thing a little bit. Yeah, get a little close, guys, please. <laughs> is 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 that a Yeti? Guys, if so, if it's a Yeti, you can turn the gain up on the back too. Oh, did that there help? Did, did yeah, that yeah, better. Yeah, that's better. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. You guys look so cute together. It's great. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> so since we have you on here, because this is kind of rare, we don't get you guys on here with us very much anymore. What are your plans for 2024? What do you guys got going on? What are you looking at? Like any exciting news? Like what's happening? Like fill everybody in on, on what to expect or anything you can leak. I know, oh. you know, you like to keep things where you it, it excite everybody and drop it on them. But do you have anything you can tell yeah. anybody about your plans? You know, so we're always actively looking, you know, for more claw machine spots and coin pusher spots. But as of recent, we've had a like almost every video, I'd say, literally every video, we have people asking about the full line content. And as we've mentioned in previous videos, we're not the biggest full line fans. <laughs> however, we all understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But however, to appease our audience, our wonderful subscribers, 
We are actually expanding into some more full line. For instance, we just landed uh, a local gym that Cody and I go to. Yeah. You know, nice. 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 Anytime mm-hmm. Fitness. Uh, they want a combo machine right there in the front. We're placing it early April. And then hopefully another truck stop here soon. So really, I guess we're just going to be it's true. So really, we're just going to be looking at doing at least a little bit more full line. And it's really just for, you know, of course, for the businesses. But we wouldn't even have thought to do it if not just for just the literally overwhelming amount of comments we get that just, hey, guys, I want to see more of the snack machines and vending machines because the fans, yeah, go to our YouTube, our most popular video by far is uh, one where we were at the nursing home just servicing our four machines there, which you actually have to have approval, turns out, to film in medical facilities. And they're just, they didn't really want us filming there anymore. You know, maybe we're a little too fun, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's That's what happens when you start playing with needles, man. Stop completely. that stuff. That's what happens. Exactly. <laughs> understandable. So, you know, we, yep. we don't film there anymore, but... To appease everybody who wants to see that kind of content, we are we already have a couple new spots. In fact, this weekend in Saturday's video, we for the first time uh, showed a body shop that we have never shown before where we have another Futura. Uh, we showed that machine. Uh, so I guess really we're going to be looking at expanding some more full line, but, you know, then just any claw machine and coin pusher locations we get as well. You know, just the usual on yeah. that aspect. Nice, nice. So... Very but, cool. Hey, I understand what it's like having a location you can't film at. That's it's frustrating though because it's you know yeah. it would be such great content and then know. you know yeah. I've thought about I've thought about sneaking my my so my glasses in there but I'm like I can't do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Well, speaking of the gym, man, Cody, you're looking great, man. Hey. So you, you hey, hey, you're looking awesome, awesome man. It's been a long yes. time. Yes, a lot. I mean, he yeah, he looks good. He looks lie. amazing, and like I'm guessing you got some muscles under that shirt now if you've been going to the gym too. Oh, so now yeah. you would like to know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. right? I guess we'll find out in Vegas. Very cool, we'll man. Find out you, Vegas, look- <laughs> <laughs> you look great. Awesome. Thank great you. job, man. Very cool. So nice. we got some super chats. We got to cover quite a few, actually. Actually, yeah, um, looks like a couple more came oh. in. All right. Love this one. This one is from Neon Starship. You are keeping it flowing tonight, too. Thank you for the super chat. Says so many big names in here tonight. I'm starstruck. We got Quick Play, Tinker Toys, Candy Machines, Howard Hospitality, Galaxy Games, Extreme. Everyone sign the (laughs) (laughs) T-shirt. Right. We'll do it right through the screen. There you go. Nice. (laughs) Thanks for the super chat, Neon. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes. All right. Up next, Jacob Gregg says... Uh, in the market for a bill counter, I love my AccuCount scale. Any particular machines you recommend? Anything like the case? Anything with a case like the AccuCount? So, Cody, uh, was it Office Depot that we I'm got? Gonna, oh, wait, is that out? In the, no, it's it's, 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 it's in there. there. No, it's right. It's right out there. Okay. We have oh, cool. we have an excellent uh, bill counter. He's gonna go grab it, but they're normally like around three hundred bucks, but. OfficeDepot.com was selling them. We got ours for like 150 bucks. Nice. Oh wow. Price, and I'm, they very well may still be on there, but man, this thing has done. Here, he's got it. It has done wonders for us. I don't even know what brand it is. Because we were looking for one too, and we were going to talk to the clop, the clop people while we were at MBV. Addict V 1800. Yeah. Say Office it again. Depot, D E P O T dot com. I love it. Good. Got that for 150 bucks. It arrived in what a week. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Man hasn't done us wrong one time, except when I dropped a quarter in it and got it jammed. But <laughs> I, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> so, what is the brand? Say it again, because I think I talked over you, and I apologize. What's the brand uh, and the model number? Yeah, well, Anatix. What is it? Anatix. N N A D E X. Anatix V1 800. Nice. Does it separate the bills and all that stuff too? Will it like take the fives out and then does it do that where no, it separates? No, it just finds um like if you like I've read the the owner's manual or whatever and it will like if it thinks that there's a uh, a counterfeit, it will throw up a an error code and you can yep. kind of like look at it. Usually, whenever it throws up uh, that counterfeit error code for me, it's a super worn out bill. Ah, and it's mm. it's like a one dollar bill that's been through the ringer. 
So yeah. you know, uh, you can also just kind of you can also you know, set it to do increments. Like if we only want to count a hundred at a time, like say we have a huge stack of like two hundred and fifty bucks, we can toss it all in and it'll do a hundred. We can pull that out. It'll you can wrap that. You can wrap that, that yeah. with, a, with a strap. Yeah, it's very it's, cool. I'm just saying for, for the price, hundred and fifty bucks. Really cool. Yeah, that's really good. Like, you know, yeah. two fifty or whatever. OfficeDepot.com. That's not a sponsor. I'm just saying right. we just have to find it there. <laughs> right, right. Uh, it, it's a great machine. So. And if those of you who are going to Vegas, usually there's a company called Klopp. Um, it's K-L-O-P-P, I believe. Yes, I, correct. Um, they're going to be at the show, and they have some pretty fancy stuff. So they've got crazy coin counters and money counters, and like they've got like five stacks. So like the one that you see right there, which is the one stack, they'll have like five of those where it'll separate all the bills out. Um, they're pretty fancy. So you can get pretty pretty crazy stuff you know um at the show so um but that that's a fantastic deal thanks guys appreciate that yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think on. jonathan didn't you get to talk to the clock people in yeah your video my, um, from iapa yep so there's yeah. probably this probably the same sales rep might even be at mbva you never know yeah for um, sure but they're great people a lot of people in the industry use them um they warranty all their stuff for like i mean it's pretty much lifetime yeah um they're just and they do like payment plans and all kinds of stuff so you can get into i mean their machines are expensive though but you have something you're gonna have for life and if you're willing to you know spend a little more money they they're pretty pricey though so um but definitely worth the price so yeah very cool All right, another one from Waco's Car Wash Channel. Elevators more, another $5 super chat. Talking about the price of gas. What? And I'm sure he wants to know what everyone else else's gas prices are. Two eighty three. I think I paid two ninety eight. You guys. Okay. Waco's, I'm moving in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're like three seventy. No, no. Oh my god. Like three twenty nine. Oh, three Four nineteen oh, yesterday. I get premium fuel, that's why. Four nineteen. <laughs> I, I have no idea, honestly. I'm sorry. Yeah, David wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, I would. I don't know. I don't think it's the gas anymore. Love it. Oh my god, crazy. So, uh, question for us, actually. Uh, yes. So um, we, I'm thinking by the time we get back from Vegas, uh, and we have a prototype that is made. Um, we're getting costs on what it's costing to make and we have our patent done and everything and I'll give you a little more details than I did before. So it is pretty much ready to, for production and, um, I can't tell you what it is or any of the details, uh, till it's all completely done because we're doing a few little tweaks on it. Uh, but it will be available. I'm hoping we're going to try to work with Canyon Machines to have them available in the States. And then we'll also have them available directly from China, uh, where you can ship them with some of the machines you may be ordering from over there. Uh, and so you'll have two ways to get them. And it is by far the best thing that I've seen. Well, there is nothing like it. And basically, it'll be able to work on any mini claw machine that's out there. It's universal. It stops it from being tipped, uh, tilted. Um, it makes it super stable, and I think you guys are really going to like it. And I'm hoping by the time we get back from Vegas that it will be um, starting to be able to be in production and um, actually be able to be ordered. That's the goal. Well, now I'm super uh, interested. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is like a year in the making, you guys. Like I've been working on this forever because when we first got our machines, we had a boba shop. And there was these kids, these high school kids that would go to the boba shop every day. And like we would go and we'd go to collect the money and like our, half our prizes would be gone. But there was not a lot of money in the machine. And so the guy actually had cameras, but he never looked at them, you know. And I go, can you check your cameras? And these kids were full on like, I mean, tilting almost it. tilting yeah. it down to the ground and like shaking it and dropping the toys <laughs> into the wow. truck. And, and I said, this is ridiculous. So we ended up yeah. putting in, you know, a, a 24 inch um, magic key, which you can't move those things. They're like, <laughs> right. tanks. and so we swapped it out because we were losing money on toys and, and, you know, and everything else. And I said, I, I bet you that other people are having the same issue. And sure enough, a lot of people have said to us, you know, this is a problem. You know, it could fall on people. Yeah. Uh, David had a kid that jumped up on one of his machines and it almost fell over on them. I mean, they grabbed, they jumped up and grabbed it, right, David, and hung on to it? Yeah, they were pole dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, pole I mean, dancing. You know, parents don't watch their kids. You know, no. you got it in a restaurant right. in the corner. 
um, or whatever it is, and the kids go over there and they're just they want to, you know, they're they're just kids, and so. Um, this is going to solve all those problems, I think. And I think that it's going to be, you know, the, and, and it'll work on any machine. It's universal. So the brackets adjust to fit any machine. It's very cool. We're very excited. And, and the patent process took forever. It was almost nine months. In did you, the did you name it yet? The, the Howard Hospitality helping hand. <laughs> no, I didn't go with that. But yeah, but I mean, that took a long time. And then we had a local um, shop here, like fabricate it for us. And we went through like, I don't know, maybe 15 iterations of, of, of it to get it right, you know, to get it so because you don't want something that's big, that's going to take up too much space, you want just enough space um, to make it work. And then but at the same time, be super stable, and it came out like it's awesome so i'm very excited i'm hoping that it helps a lot of people with the problems they may have i can't wait to put on all of our machines uh, i'm hoping I'm it'll excited. be you know, i'm very yeah. excited yeah. yeah so it's very cool and um so yeah very exciting so that should be by the time we get back i'm thinking uh because uh rainy is actually the one that's that's actually creating it for us oh, and so when you right. order your mega minis you'll be able to just add it to your order and then it'll come with it and then i'm hoping to work with Andy at Candy Machines, so then he can just order them directly from Rainy and then sell them on the website uh, here in the States. They'll be a little pricier, I'm sure, than, than ordering them with your, your Mega Minis, but it'll be available so you don't have to worry about waiting, you know, two to three weeks to get something from China and that kind of stuff. So well, yeah. we're very excited. You've got, yeah, you've got and you'll, you'll multiple customers. Really yeah. yeah. So, I, and I mean, yeah. if you figure, I mean, I don't know how many Mega, you know, well, Candy Machines, uh, OG Minis, um, Golden Houses, um, super minis that are out there right now that are all everybody's having the same issue and if I can make it so it's cost effective where it's not going to cost people a lot of money to to basically solve a major problem I think that's that's a win you know I think everyone, totally, totally. We're yeah. in. So. yes I'm in I want them <laughs> yeah I just I'm I, you know and we we have that issue with with kids sometimes and 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 so I I really feel like this will help a lot of people so Anyways, that's, awesome. that's the update. So I'm hoping by the time I get back, it'll be all done and ready to go. And um, I'm real excited. I'm glad I did the patent process. For those of you out there that, you know, you have an idea or something, make sure you get a patent. You know, make sure you take the time. It costs money. Uh, and it's a lot of work. Like, the, the government's not easy to work with with this kind of stuff. And it's yeah. pictures and, and schematics and all this kind of stuff you have to go through. But then people can't steal your idea, you know, idea and... Um, it's yours. You know, you worked really hard for it and came up with it. So of make course. sure you do that. What an accomplishment. So. Yeah, good. Yeah. I didn't even, very that's cool. wonderful, man. Yeah, I'm excited. So, and I didn't want to share too much because it's, you don't really know if something's going to come to fruition, you know, and it, it's been a long process. So right. it's, yeah. it's very yeah. exciting. Yeah. We're so. excited for you, man. That's awesome. So uh, cool. Neon checked on your, uh, your, your money counter. Oh, yeah, Neon car. Starship says just looked at the V one eight zero zero on Office Depot. Did we just lose David? I think yeah, we just lost we David. Yeah, we just lost David. Oh, no. And it says it's currently at two two twelve forty nine at the moment. You guys must have gotten it on sale. <laughs> hey, where did Cody go? Oh. You guys are gonna have to hold hands. Hey. Oh. Squeeze in there. Squeeze I'm in there. Here. Can you put, can you put like a put a different in. view on Jonathan? Uh, let's see. Um, I think there's different views. We can oh, do. Yeah, they, oh, that works. That works. That works. That works. Okay. okay so I don't want to be bigger than everybody else, though. Oh, I feel weird. That is okay. okay. So yeah, that's about sixty dollars, seventy even more than we, whatever more than we also, pay. but still, still cheaper than what we've seen it for elsewhere. Keep I mean, in mind, I also have honey. I have honey downloaded. Uh, I have the plugin. Oh right, the coupon saving. Thing. Yep. Yeah, and Rakuten. Rakuten right. might be another one. So, um, you know, maybe something you might look into if you don't already have. I'd say even though it, oh, Jacob Grog says looks like 205 on Amazon. I'm telling you, anywhere around 200 bucks, I would snag one of those. Yeah. They, they it's a total great. time saver. And it's even a on total Amazon, time I mean, saver, yeah. if you get it and you don't like it, I mean, theoretically, send it back, you know, but right. they'll give you money for giving it back. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's been great for us, though. We've had ours for many months, and it's awesome. Yeah. So I, I think I, this yeah. is a great topic right here. It is very cool. So, so Tinker's Toys and Hobby says this will be our first year attending the NBVA. Are there any booths outside the NBVA pavilion that you would guys would recommend stopping by and taking a look at? Do we each want to take maybe yeah, one that we, that we would yours. recommend? Go ahead. You want me to start? I'll start or you start. I, go ahead. I got a bunch. All right. I'm going to start. So okay. my, my recommendation 
And it's probably not for everybody's route, but stop by the Stern Pinball Center. I mean, <laughs> right? Uh, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I and mean then, you, then you disappear for an hour and leave I all your did. friends. I did. I was like, oh, the new Foo Fighter. They have the new, I mean, it was like yeah. just released. And like, I was like, oh, I got to go play this. So I'm playing it. And then like, next, next thing I know, it's an hour later. And I'm sure like everybody's all out from different directions. <laughs> so I just disappeared for an hour playing Foo Fighters Pinball. So I got, I got a bunch of records. What about you guys? What did you guys think were the best booths at at MBVA last year? One I always love to look at, and it's it's the same people who make the pirate chess, which I'm sure you've seen a million yep. times in our videos. Mm -hmm. uh, Smart Industries. Yes, yeah. they, always they always have, have some awesome really stuff. Really cool looking claw machines, they really do. you know. I, and I just have always loved to go. to They're one of the first booths I always go to because I love I'm, to see what they have coming out, and they're. Their equipment is, it's, I mean, it's up there with like the top tier, notch. top notch, like KMH.com totally. tier. Like, yeah. Phenomenal equipment. So, so for those have, who don't know, few, um, they're, um, they're like, like LAI games. Yes, um, LAI. So, I mean, they, with the, with the, just the interaction. That like Asphalt 9 like, last year was awesome. Guys, yes. Crazy awesome. Yeah. Um, ice is always uh, just, you know, super polished and they have just, you know top quality games and what was um i cannot remember like the manufacturer's name or the 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 company's name but um it was like a beer pong thing and like the air air was, yeah the air came up mm -hmm. i think that might have been namco oh, bandai oh, you yeah those? you're right it was so namco it was bandai yep yeah. i think it was namco bandai yeah, oh, namco? yeah. okay okay yeah. yeah that was super neat. yeah because they had cool. all the pac-man stuff and stuff there in that booth yeah. too yeah you're right um, that was really cool. So yeah, the air comes out with a little ping pong and then you play the, yeah, the, the it's, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. it's eye catching. Yeah. It's like, Whoa, what? is this magic? <laughs> yeah. Right. So my, my top ones, Tinker Toys and Hobbies that I'd recommend, um, since you guys are growing so fast, there is, we've talked about the clock booth. I think that if you're going to do money counters and stuff, that's a place to stop and just, you know, maybe you can get on and, and get into like a bigger thing where you're doing some more money counting stuff. They do coin counters, um, all that kind of stuff. Then there's the booth that I had and I can't remember the name, but they do custom keys and locks for your machines. So as your route gets bigger, they basically will create you your own key, one key for all of your machines. And so you buy the locks, it's got your own key code, you can add as many as you want, and then you have one key that opens all of your locks. So that's kind of an issue with, I've seen on a lot of people's videos, they don't have actual like master locks or stuff on their machines. They're just the empty machine with the key, uh, you know, that there's no, right. all those machines have the same key, you guys. Yes. So yeah. you need to be, you know, aware of that, that anybody that has a golden house or anybody has a super mini or whatever, they're all the same key. So yeah. and all of us yeah. know that we like, we're like digging in, you know, our bag down below and we'll just find one of those keys and we know it's going to open any of those machines. So you really need to have locks. And instead of going on Amazon and buying, you know, a hundred locks with the same key that are kind of cheap locks, you can actually go to this company and then you basically over time, you'll create your own route with your own locks and you can add any kind of lock. So you can do barrel locks, um, cam locks, whatever you want, and it'll fit in your machines. And I think that's, it's a little pricey, you know, to do, but in the long run, you have one key for that's a everything. Great point. That's a great and, point. Yeah, and nobody else has coach. that. So don't talk about it. Yeah, and oh, if you look at our, I don't key. think I have our key oh, set here, but we've got this huge, I'm gonna talk to them. I know. <laughs> I look, I look, I look like a like a janitor or something. Yeah, like, that, like you, you know work I mean? at the school, right? And you're like, you know, you're going around <laughs> opening all the classrooms, and everyone has a different key. And then, so, um, I really think that that's a way to go. And they can do every kind of lock. And and so over time, I know it'll cost a lot of money, but as you're growing, yeah. it's a good time to start. And then every time you buy a new machine, you just order a new lock for that machine each time, and then you can grow your route. Um, especially since you're getting started, I highly recommend you look at Fiesta Toys. Their toys, they're out of LA. Uh, their stuff is awesome. So they've and got good stuff. Good stuff yeah. is another great one too. And that's the other one I was going to talk about was good yeah. stuff. Um, they've got all the licensed stuff that's out there. And I really think that those are some booths that you should stop by and they're all there. So um, definitely check those out and then go by um, the one that we were really um, uh, excited about is that All Star uh, runs like a show special. Uh, where they have a really good mix that they put together for the show. And it's like 
fifty. I think it was what was it fifty seven cents. So cheap, shipped yeah. too. Yeah, yeah shipped, shipped yeah. for a medium yeah. sized claw mix, and it was like fifty seven yeah. cents, and it was just so ridiculously awesome. So I would yeah. stop by Flatline All Star. Um, all of those booths in the MBVA. I would hit the MBVA section first before you go see anything else, just because those are going to be your core people for why you're there and then expand out. But those are some good ones to see, and they're all there, man. It's really cool. So, it is, very, yeah. it is very definitely cool. cool. It is awesome. So, there's a lot of questions for us, you guys. So, um, Eli and Cody, question for you How are you doing this evening? Doing wonderful, <laughs> um, uh, Glenn. We are doing wonderful, Glenn. How are you doing? Happy to be here. Happy to be here. We're happy that you're here. I'm excited yeah. you're here. Um, okay, all of us. This is a question for all of us. Question for all. What is your favorite type of vending machine in general? I think I think you're going to get a lot of similar answers here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with all vending. If you can put a quarter or a dollar in it. Kind of thing, you know? So any any coin op machine basically where you, where an get, operator can make money, right? Get Is closer to your mic. Get up close together, guys. It's a tough one these days because there's so many. So many. Options. Especially compared to when we started. I already know what mine is. Go ahead. Know. Go ahead. It's hard. It's hard to pick one. Yeah. It's hard to pick one. What is it, Cody? You already know what it is. No, I don't. <laughs> it's the key catcher, exclusively oh. sold at KingofTheTrains.com. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it's the right. key catcher. <laughs> of course. I'm a little biased. Oh, well, forgive me. I really, really do like the key catcher, but you know, I'm. We don't even have ours out yet. We're placing it at the Mexican restaurant early April, as soon as our new key catchers get here, because. I talked to Kevin and they just hit the uh, just got there and all that, so it's shipping soon. But Matt has one, the electronic Pokemon Dude, machine with the yes. cards and the Pokeballs. I, that was my second. Even at, even that at the, was my second. I swear. Even at the MBVA, it looked clean, and then they like then they like perfected it, which yes. I, didn't, I didn't even think was possible. The execution. I thought it was perfect yeah. when I saw Chef's it. Kiss. I thought it was perfect when I saw it at the MBVA, and then they. I mean. Like, made the shape a little and, different yeah and how lit up were we when we, when we saw that machine for the oh, first time and learned about what it was and yeah we i mean my goodness just waiting to go in a mexican restaurant here yes in a couple weeks so i mean but we we trust me it's in the it's in the back of our arcade and our storage and we love to play with it and all i mean it's ready to go i am so ready to place that thing probably i gotta go with that it's so it makes me wonder though what what are we gonna see this year what what does candy yeah. machines have up their sleeve that they're not telling us about this year that we're going to see. That's what I'm excited for. I couldn't even begin to guess because they always blow my mind. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I'm just expecting a, the second I walk and see their booth, I'm just going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah. What so, about you, Matt? What's your favorite? I mean, I also love uh, the quick play key catcher and the electronic bulk vending machine. Both are doing super good for me. So it's, it's hard to... It's hard to, to move away or, or say something that, that's not like your best performing machine. Um, so I'm going to agree on both of those. Um, but, but as far as like to try and be a little bit different, I, I, would, I would say any, any machine that, that offers like a, like a big prize, like, um, you know, a, a key master or a barber cut or one of those things where you can win a big prize or maybe a really expensive prize. Those always seem to do pretty well, too. Yeah. So Matt, I, like Matt, I think time. you would love the mini magic cuts. I mean, oh, well, you know, you know, it's funny because uh, I'm thinking so about one of those. Spend. Yeah, I'm thinking about I'd one, of those. Have one of those too. Because my really ice cream cool. shop is expanding, so I'm thinking about what all I can put in there. You know, as part of that whole what's next, and that's on that's near the top of my list. It's like you said about the key catcher. Like until you see it in person, yeah. Like you know, I'd seen all the videos. I'm like, yeah, this this machine's really cool. Like I want one of those. Mm -hmm. And then you see it in person, it's like, man. This machine is incredible. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. And it does really well. The one in our arcade. So, I mean, you know, outperforms most of the claws. Yeah. Yeah. So. Interesting. Interesting. I, I'd have to say that my favorite is, is, is similar to what, um, what Cody was saying is I think anything right now, I don't think 24 inches is too big. 
in most locations. Yeah, um, right. And I think anything that has those extra prize lockers that just gives people that excitement of winning yeah. something bigger, um, because you do have these locations where you don't have a lot of space, you know, you don't have the space to put um, your your electronic bulk machine or even a Pokemon, you know, or a Pokeball yeah. machine or something like that. But you have one hole to put something in. You basically got a prize locker and a claw machine all in one unit. And I think that the gamer quest does a really good job with that. And, and, and the key master, I think is by far the best looking, um, or I mean the, the, um, key catcher, key catcher. I'm sorry. Yes. Is the I know there's looking. so many similar names. Yeah. So I apologize <laughs> for that, but I think that that's the so best looking, names. the most attractive one that's out there. I think the super Mario theme is pretty cool, but I think as far as like where you can put that, um, um, key mat or, why is my brain not working? Because um, you can tell we're getting to the end of the street. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> the fact that you got the black and and it blends in with so much more more locations than than like some young kid looking game request, I really think that 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 machine that Quick Play and them came out with it, it fits in more locations, in my opinion. Like you can and it just it pops. In. It just yeah, pops. it just pops. And I mean, you mm. walk in and it's like like you said, it's like oh, you know. And I think that. <laughs> You're basically getting two machines in one, almost. You're getting the prize lockers and you're getting the claw machine all in one. Um, you have the ability to do smaller prizes and larger prizes. So you can do all the stuff you can fit into your super mini or your or any of those mini claw machines you can put in there. Plus you can put bigger stuff, which is very cool. So you can, you can mix it up and change it up. And I think that that's just, it's great to have your keys and like a, a Pokeball. And I mean, like it's just, it's just a cool machine and i really think that 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 to me for your bang for your buck of what you pay for those things is so inexpensive especially with the promo codes that they have on candy machines by the time you get down you get you get two machines in one and you're not forced to have a prize locker and most of those 24 inch machines don't have prize lockers on the top. sure so you're getting you know four or depending if you put a dba you're getting four or five prize lockers in the bottom plus a claw machine so to me, you can't you can't go wrong with those. You machines. can't lose. And you no. know what? I was I was actually thinking about testing something. It maybe because yeah, that machine can be very versatile, right? You can do yeah. so many different things with it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I was thinking about maybe testing something like maybe like, what if I have a lower performing machine that I want to drive some business to it, right? And it's it's in, it's in the same location as the key catcher machine, but like since the key catcher machine's there, everyone wants to play that obviously because it's so great. But what if I want to drive some performance to another machine in that same location? What about maybe putting a sign or something on that machine where you can find one of the keys for the key catcher machine in this machine? Oh, you know nice. what I mean? Yeah, you're thinking. Have you yeah. thought about yeah. that? Yeah. I thought oh, be nice. That's a really yes. good idea. Yes. And, 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 and brain to kind of... ideas. You're giving me ideas now. <laughs> That's well, what I'm talking about. If, if that was, you know, even a lower price. So, like, let's say yeah. you're you had one at two dollars and one at one dollar and you're like hey you could still win one of these prizes over here in this machine right. for a dollar you know maybe it'll drive <clears> some <throat> stuff over there but andy's saying maybe he'll do a special on mini the magic event. cut plus a vegas special man Ooh. sign me up i want one of those so bad those mini magic cuts i really feel like they're so attractive like they're such a cool little machine they really are yes. ever, seen, ever since i've seen them i've just wanted one they're just and, and amelia wanted one really bad too because purple you know she was all excited about <laughs> yeah. the color. and it does i mean they just they just glow so very cool totally totally yeah. they stick out they i mean when i say they glow i mean they stick out like a sore thumb Ooh. yeah they're bright they're very bright <laughs> i'm telling yeah. you man they are incredible we may have to order. I mean, they're just, I, I'd love to do a video on one and a review and, and just, you know, put it in a location. I have a couple that I think would be really good for it. Um, those are just great machines too. And the fact that it, you can put it in a small location, which is great. Yeah, the, the square you know. footage. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a mini basically. It's yeah. Next to yeah. nothing. They don't have to give up a table or Exactly. Anything. Right yeah. there, exactly. You know, have to pass it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really, really pondering one of those machines for my ice cream shop expansion because I think. Plus, I mean, it's got that that pink highlight, right? It's glows yes. pink. Yes. It would just fit an ice cream great. shop Amelia's so good. Thing. Yeah, that's the other thing too that those of you don't know. Um, Amelia and Sam are coming to MBVA. Uh, they're going to be on a panel for, uh, they're going to talk about youth and vending. Oh, actually, T Tinker Toys and Hobbies said she's looking forward to seeing. Yeah, so everybody gets to meet Amelia and Sam that's and see awesome. all of them. Uh, we're doing a seminar. We're very excited. And, and that's one of the machines she wanted to see was a mini magic cut in person. Uh, Natalie's coming. We're all excited. So it's going to be really so cool. cool. Yeah. 
We need to do the giveaway one more time. Uh, we got like six minutes left. Can we do it in time? Oh, let, let's 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 lightning round it. Let's rapid okay. fire. Let's go. Put it up on the All screen. Right. Let's do it. All right, guys. One more time. Take a look at your screen. These. This is the last time we're going to offer this giveaway. So take a look at your screen. It's the free spin machine, which is our grand prize for our giveaway next week at the NBVA show. Runner up will receive the electronic bulk vending machine, both from CandyMachines.com, and then Quick Play. You guys. Top in the top, uh, put yeah, put away. the icing on the cake. Exactly. Tell them about it. <laughs> Tell them about it, Eli. Go, brother. <laughs> it is the ultimate icing on a cake. Not only are they gonna have the chance to win a free spin, oh, an electronic bulk machine that can have different kinds of cards. Yay. We love Pokemon, you know, or capsules in the bottom, Pokeballs, whatever you more. want. That's two huge prizes right there. Yeah, but totally. not only both of those. Tell them more. We for our lovely, amazing subscribers. Ooh. Got us to 500,000. We are going to include a super mini. Thank you. With a prize locker. A prize locker? The theme of their choice. You want the ocean? You want the oh, spaced out? You so, want the red? You want the blue? Doesn't matter. So Pick many and options. choose. It's yours. Yeah. Plus, huh? it comes full of product. Uh huh. It comes full. It comes with a Nyax reader. They're ready. It's everything you could possibly need to start your own claw machine business or expand your existing claw machine business. Boy. Oh. Uh, for free. They're set to go and for it's free. free. It's absolutely free. It's incredible. Three huge Man. giveaways. That's Man. right, guys. So make sure you guys get over there to the Discord, click on the giveaway tab, fill out the form so that way you're registered to win. Because guys, we are giving these machines away one week from today, March 20th, live from the candymachines.com booth at the NBVA show in Las Vegas, Nevada. So get signed up, guys. I know. Crazy. This what? is the last time we're we're we're, we're promoting it because oh, next time man. there will yeah, be winners. Be nice. <laughs> so cool. It's so exciting and and congratulations again you guys on 500,000 yes. subscribers. I mean, you guys yeah, totally man. deserve it. So You've jealous. inspired so many people out there. You make amazing content. Thank you. So All your artwork, your edits, your your on-screen personas, uh, everything. You guys just jive so well together. So great yeah. job with everything you've done. You guys Thank definitely you deserve so this. Much. And Matt, David, and I know how much work it is. Like it's yes. not easy creating the videos yes. and doing the stuff. And so great job, you guys. Awesome. Very cool. Someday we'll be there, we hope. To you anyone know, who is interested in starting a YouTube channel, and I'm, I'm talking even the ones who you don't even have a channel yet, people who are starting from the absolute bottom, like you don't have any subscribers, don't even have the channel yet. Let me tell you, when we started in, in 20... January of 2019 is when our channel was created. We had no idea what we were doing. Okay, <laughs> and let me tell you, it, it's it's been a, a five year long process. So you know all the fun. Oh my and, God, woo, has it been that long? All that stuff you see on camera these days. Keep in mind that that's a five year process. It doesn't happen overnight, but I promise you, I promise. It's just like anything. If you start and you take it slow and you practice. You can make it work. And if you ever you have get any better. questions, you ever want any advice, you ever want someone to like hype you up, hit us up on Discord, man. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll be your hype, you guys. You can do it. You can literally do it. And we are so, I can't even express how excited I am. Like, you got all these guys on YouTube these days. Like, I, I was just talking to Nathan Johnson, you know, all these different guys on YouTube these days. Like, when we started, there was nobody mm -hmm. doing claw yeah. machines and stuff and all that on YouTube. And now it's just like, I checked the Discord. And there's so many different people starting. I'm and so happy to see showcasing it. their businesses and yes. inspiring people. Like it's not even just us anymore. Like it's all these different people, and it's just so great to see. So if you guys have any interest in starting, do it. You won't regret it. And don't yes. worry about like yeah. how am I going to look on camera? How am I going to sound? You will be fine. Trust me. If we can do it, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's, that's what. That's right. <laughs> That is so true. You guys can seriously do it. Trust me. Trust me. I just want to throw that out And if you do it there. to help people, I mean, that's the best part. You know, like yeah. you look exactly. at like Tinker Toys and Hobbies exactly. and all these so new ones cool. that have come out. Like they're trying to help people, which is very cool. Exactly. You know, that's what we want to see. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys, are, I mean, like, I, 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 you know, we watched you since the beginning. So we're, we're, you know, you and Matt and all those guys. I mean, it just looks, it's, that's how we got started. So it's, it's totally. definitely, yeah. So very cool, man. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. We're so Thanks excited to see you. We always love to be here. <laughs> love it. Yeah. So, so uh, Eli, Cody, we'll see you in a few days. Jonathan, Ooh, I'll see you in a few days. Later. 
Yeah. Yeah. We can't wait to see you guys, man. That's right. I mean, we we, we just had such a blast hanging out last year. I can't wait to do it again this year. So we're super excited that Vegas is now just a few days away. Of course, the show is one week away, but Vegas in general is just a few days away. So we're... We're ready. Let's go. I am counting. Yes. I'm not only counting the hours. I'm counting the minutes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget, yes, if you yes. guys want tickets for MBVA uh, raffle, let me know. Just send me uh, money and Venmo. They're five dollars a ticket. I'll put all Count your information in there. Five. Let's go. Five. Sweet. Yay. Thank there you. There we go. Okay. So Eli and Cody will do five. Um, I just need full name, email, and phone number. And um, you can Venmo us and do it as a friend so that it doesn't take money out of there. Or you can go on the yowkids.org and do it on there and send us money that way. So either way, so do this for the kids. This is awesome. And, uh, yeah, anything else you guys want to cover? Nope. Uh, You know, if you can make it to the MBVA show in Vegas, join us there. If not, there will be content coming out. And, of course, we'll go live for the giveaway next week. So make sure you guys are ready. Have those bell notifications hit. So yeah. that way you get notified when that live stream happens. Oh, and good luck to smashed, everybody. You What'd you say, Eli? Here, have you guys smashed that like Ooh, button? Yeah, I, please. Some people have. Some, some people have. But, you know, not as many likes. I think I think we need some. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Smashing yeah. that like button. For sure. Now. For sure. Especially we need Eli guys. hype. I mean, at this point, we're guests. These guys do this every week. <laughs> this plethora of knowledge giving you the entertainment you gotta smash that like button Drum smash that like button Jonathan, Matt, David, you gotta thank you eli like thank you cody yeah appreciate that guys. guys congratulations again on 500,000 subscribers yes you guys are kicking butt awesome videos awesome content so excited for 2024 for you guys and all of us um exciting news about candy machines congratulations andy and kevin yes. and congratulations and andy congratulations. looking yeah. forward to meeting you andy see you, in vegas, vegas, see you in vegas brother yeah see all everybody right. in vegas Good and all of everybody. you out there we'll see you from vegas if you're not there so join us next week guys next week's the big week guys so make sure you're all here right. all right guys have a great night